Mm -hmm. Oh man, it's gonna be it's gonna be cray cray. Looking good. Girls, don't be loud. Jeez. Yo, 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 man, what's up? So, what's up? Yeah, man, I know. It's, uh, <clears throat> I don't know how much of a fight this is going to be. I mean, we'll, you know, we'll take a look and see, but it's, uh, yeah. I mean, we're not, we're not really at all the action yet, so, you know, but we'll see, uh, we'll see how things end up kicking off here. Let's do, let's do this. Can we this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is going to be so funny. Mm -hmm. All these kids. Dad. Dad. Mm-hmm. Look inside your body. What is behind your back? All right. Look, touch it. Daddy, touch it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it fell. <laughs> oh, thank you. We put that in your back. Oh. Ella doesn't know how to spell anything. Oh. That's okay. I see an R and an I and a 3 and an L and an N. Yeah, it's good. You just got to keep practicing a little bit, sweetie. That's Ellen. <laughs> Ellen, what's All right, man. This is, this, is pretty, this is pretty wild. So we got uh, Owl, BXS, and NK that are going at it right now again a lot more people here on the owl and i think the bxs side than the others but you know we'll see uh we'll see how this one plays out this is pretty nuts Jeez, just so many troops man so many troops <clears throat> Jeez, that burst strike, acid breath terrifying. For, I mean, listen, I'm just happy that we're able to keep up with the uh, frames. Uh, that's always nice, just given how many units are here on the field right now. I wonder if there's going to be more NK and maybe some NW players that are coming in. Because obviously BXS, RTG, and OWL are having to run, and BDR. I mean, it's basically a 4v1 at the moment. Man, this is a lot. So, open the door. Stop closing it because it's making it loud. Open it all the way, please. Thank you. All the way, Evelyn. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Jeez, that roll puncher. I wonder if they're going to get... Okay. <clears throat> so it looks like they... Mo okay, we'll see. I don't know how the replenishment's looking right now for them. I mean, dude, that's a lot. I... I mean, they, I mean they're, they're getting bullied right now, respectful, respectfully. Wild. Just nuts, nuts right now. 
nuts right now in zone three. Wild, wild stuff. Now let's see if we can go. <sighs> pretty pretty one-sided, but you know, hey, at least we get to watch a little PvP. Can it be mad at that? <clears throat> All right. Jeez, I mean, yo, they came in with a gang, <clears throat> gang of people. I won't be the R, and then R, and then BXS and RTG. Yeah, this is the challenge now is that you know you're basically getting pushed off of <laughs> they came ready they came ready but again you know it's, it's also depending on the time of day you know that's the other thing too as well because i think there are some some nw but it's mainly nk right now really for the most part Just wild, man. Wild. Oh, man. Oh, yo, they summoned bear. Put that work in. I wonder. I wonder if they focus the bear, how quickly the bear would get obliterated. Yeah, because it looks like some of them are heading outside of the territory now. It's a decent movement here from Owl, uh, where you can see like a good amount of them moving outside now of the ring. Actually, looked pretty decently coordinated too as well. Uh, not bad there. Jeez, I mean that's a lot. I mean, I think the bear is going to help to it. I don't know. If, I don't know if I'd even say to a degree. I'm shocked they're not focusing the bear though. Here, I mean, I mean that to me just seems like a little bit of a no-brainer, just given how much activity that they have. Especially if the bear's overextending in that way. Okay, there they go. Now, now they're starting to do it a little bit more there, top left. And then the bear ran. <laughs> the bear ran. Yeah, I mean, okay, so so I can, I can get a little bit more activity on right now. At least for a bit. Yeah, I mean, this is hard, man, when you're basically getting 4v1. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. You know, just trying to really sustain at this point is probably the best that they can, you know, I would argue, hope to do. You know, and I guess it is somewhat of a 4v2-ish. Uh, and who knows, right? Maybe it's just the timing push from them that caught them a little bit off guard, right? That's also something to consider as well.
Let's see. Okay, so it looks like they're taking the front for Owl. But I don't know, wonder if BXS and RTG will flank or how they're playing this one out. Wow, the bear is still barely, barely alive, though. Okay, there we go. Now BXS is coming in. I was wondering where the flank was going to happen. Or when the flank was going to happen from them. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, why not just run straight down, right, at that point? Yeah, I know. Just, just bananas. Um... Let me see. I think I think I'm gonna do a, a wider ping for this. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's I think there's some other PvP that's going on too as well. We'll just we'll have to go take a look. <laughs> All right, we'll see how this goes. Wild. Oh, sorry. So what I was trying to say before was where you saw NK, where you saw them kind of pushing up, right? Where they were, where NK and W were like around here. And then Owl was fighting them here and like here, so to speak. And then, you know, you could have had BXS and just like did a straight shot like this. Basically got in and then just tried to block the retreat. You know, even if it was just a little bit, that could have been something that was done. But, again, I mean, there's just so much activity right now from them. I mean, it, it is pretty bananas, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh everyone's saying hey no oh my bad let me log in hang on hang on hang on i have this on my other one yeah this is just the one we're viewing but i probably just should go to my scout huh i guess there's not really a difference i could always hang out just it's just a lot quicker navigating in this way uh, I know, I probably should just do it the traditional way, because then we can actually see chat, <laughs> right? Let me uh, let me load this up, and and then we can do that. Uh, yeah, give me a sec. Let me, let me load it up, and then we'll switch. So, because what I can do is I can just hunt for PvP on my main, which is this one, and then if we see some PvP somewhere, then I can switch the account uh, on my scout. So that way, because again, you know, reading chat's nice too as well, at least in-game. Right, for the opportunities that we get. So, let's do this. Let me go... Where am I? S2 at the... Find this... Okay, cool. I got it. I think we're good. Yeah, let me move this over here. And then I'll switch this one over. And this should be okay. Shockingly, that actually worked out all right. 
<laughs> there we go. Uh, and then this way we can promo. Promo. Actually, you know what I should do? Let's do this. Let's go back. I know what I'm going to do. Yeah, we'll, we'll show we'll show off chat in a sec. Give me. Yeah, give me a minute. Why don't we? Yeah, we'll do it like this. I got it. Okay, that's all right. It's <laughs> all right for now. <clears throat> NK and W though, man, trying to resurge a bit, getting some more replenishment now, holding at least the top of the ramp for a minute. Looks like they just got a jolt. I wonder how BXS and OWR, are they still bringing a lot more people over? Oh, wow, they are. Let's go look. Let's do a quick in-game promo round. <clears throat> you guys know my style. Let's see. I'm just curious how much. Oh, so they are. I mean, again, I mean, they're still getting more people that are coming over. Wow, dude, look at this. Isn't that just nutter butters, man? So they got RTG that walked from here, uh, Rise is there, they have BXS, oh hang on, this should be Owl, right? <clears throat> Where's Owl? Oh, my bad. So check this out, Owl's up here, right? Uh, purple RTG, and then you have, uh, oops, hang on, we gotta go here, BXS, and RTG. Oh, wow. Where's BDR? Are they here red? Wow. So BDR and Owl walked all the way from here, right? They walked from here through... I have to remember where I'm going now because they could have actually done this two different ways depending on where they're coming from. Yeah, they could have went here, ramp here, or they probably could have done... Uh, I think it's here, here, and then around, right? So they could have done something like that, and then they're basically meeting here and then going down there. I mean, you know, please excuse the ch uh, childish sc uh, scribble, right? It's 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 really just quality tactics at the moment for uh, how awesome my drawing skills are. Probably not. So. <laughs> don't 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 take that with too much, right? But but really, that's what's happening, right? In, in basically the four v two. I don't know if there's going to be any other assistance that they're really going to be able to get at this point. Right, that's going to be something that'll be curious to see, uh, along with if we get any action in more brass, right? Because we're in Doolin right now in this 4v2, which again is for some of you that might be just joining, is the BXS RTG Owl BDR versus NKNW, right? So it's a 4v2 at the moment. Um, well, you know, we could take a look at, we'll look at some, uh, some leaderboards here too as well um, in a bit. Yeah. Right, just so we can, so we can look. Uh, let me catch up on chat, though, here. Ray Hart, what's up, man? Rip Nova. So, uh, appreciate it being, yeah, man. Logan, what's up? Welcome. What's up, boss? What's going on? Kusurk Emmanuel. Ah, uh, you can't see the zone chat. Everyone is saying hi. Yeah, I know. I will I will read I will read chat. Definitely will. Uh, Lucum's live. It's taking some serious coordination to get us in there. We went up by Necro. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, again, probably had to do a decent walk. <laughs> a decent journey. A decent trek uh, to get to where you guys needed to get to. Yeah, so yeah, again I can I can only imagine. Uh let's go here. Yeah. And we'll we'll definitely take a look at some more PvP too as well. Again, I'm sure there's gonna be some good opportunities, uh, even if it's beyond this. It's just I I'm not sure I I'm gonna look once I finish once I finish doing my uh world chat promo for in game. Uh, that we're live, we will uh, then go and uh, start. I'm, I'm going to start scouting. So this is the cool thing about on the second monitor, right? It's almost kind of like you guys know when you're watching a, a basketball game or a sports game and the camera angle is always switching to, you know, different uh, positions to make sure that you're kind of always getting that 24-7 action. I just thought of this right now, but basically while we're watching this, I can use my second PC client and just start scouting other PVP. So if there's good opportunities or if we see some other see some other action that's going on in another kingdom, right? The moment that this dies down or if it looks like it's a lull, right? That we can immediately switch over. So gotta have you know BN's got to get in producer mode, <laughs> if you will. But you know just something nice to think about. 
Yeah, but I mean, I mean, that's the thing, though, right? And this is this is the interesting part when you think about uh, when you think about the pressure right now that BXS, RTG, Owl, BDR is putting on NKNW is that they're almost confining them to the top of this ramp, and in the meantime, it looked like they were still building. Right, so they're still building on their side over at that spire bridge, and they're still coming down southwest to where NKNW are. It's just allowing you're basically stagnating, right? You're you're stalling out their uh, flag or territory development, and now it's allowing for you to keep developing. To eventually, you're going to end up getting to there. Now, obviously, it'll depend on how long they can keep it up for, but. Yeah, and, and this thing, we always knew Zone 3 was going to be the first possible opportunity where we'd be seeing more alliances fighting there. The The challenge for me, and we'll maybe talk about this in a moment once I'm able to look at the leaderboards here uh, for the group. But, you know, NK and MW, I think they're within the top five uh, alliances. Again, I'll have to double check that once we get a chance to, to go back and look. But I say that coming from the position of you know, what happens in a zone three where, you know, it, again, in this example, you had two alliances in the top five that are basically out at that point, right? If, for example, NKNW were to lose out on zone three, they would be denied progressing any farther in the season, right? So now they're out of zone three, didn't really have an opportunity to kind of set a foothold there. And then they end up not being able to go into zone four because they don't have any access to zone three. So when you think about it like that, like that is pretty disheartening that you have, you know, strong, healthy, active alliances that are not getting an opportunity to advance in the season and only really making it through what halfway, if you will. I mean, like talk about how disheartening that would be to the players, uh, right? That and it's different if you're able to make it all the way to zone four and then it's like, okay, we fought it out. We weren't able to, to sustain. We got kicked out of zone four, but we still have zone one, two and three left right and then obviously we still have other opportunities to push and i guess you could argue the same thing right from zone two into zone three uh, or really how this is which technically is their zone one into zone three but it is one of those things you think about that can really negatively impact uh, the player's experience if you're not if you're not really given that opportunity for as many maybe not all but as many alliances up to all right to advance uh, farther uh, in the season along the map because I mean that's what I mean that's your storyline right for for you know the other way of looking at it is like that's that's your main storyline um, if you really think of it um, in that way all right man and KNW dude they're pushing back Owl now and bear in mind that uh, right keep in mind they're fighting on NKNW's front door so to me respectfully it is it is expected that NKNW with their activity and their power should be able to push OWL, BDR back, and then eventually uh, BXS and RTG. Now, the thing I want to point out, this is interesting. I wonder if NKNW are taking... Now, now stay with me. This is going to get pretty deep, but I think there's some good value here. I wonder if NKNW considered or thought about attacking OWL... BDR first because they are the farthest away from their battlefront, right? That, to me, is interesting. Did you notice that? How NKNW, right, really think about the macro play here. They did not push northeast to fight BXS and RTG. They pushed northwest to fight OWL and BDR, who, coincidentally, are the farthest away from them. So I wonder if NKNW did that on purpose or if it's just how it played out. Because if it was done on purpose, I think that's an incredibly high-level play from them to do that, knowing that they have to walk farther to get back into the fight. And then they go and they start pushing out RTG and BXS because they have a shorter uh, a shorter route and then the, next, the second longest replenishment time, right? So if they did decide, if they did do it that way, I do think that was smart compared to focusing on BXS RTG and then letting OWL and BDR support where they could maybe sustain in the fight a little bit longer. However, the thing I'm going to point out here as well on the on the flip side of this is 
uh, and, I, and maybe I, I don't, I'm not understanding this one fully, but I feel like BXS and RTG could have been supporting OWL and BDR a little bit more there in that moment on this Northwest front, where we saw for a little bit that they were focusing them, but there really wasn't a lot of support coming in. So I don't know if that was just like an AFK, if that was just like a lack of awareness, if somebody dropped the ball there maybe. Uh, but that just seemed like a really, a really unfortunate miss opportunity. So, yeah, wild. Wild. Um, I wonder if, oh, dude, I wonder if they're going to push them back on this flag build now for BXS. That would be dope, dude. If we see them put pressure on these flag builds and they end up pushing them all the way out. Because, dude, now NK and W have some decent Legion sizes here. Right, are they building as well? I'm curious. Are they build? Are they trying to build? Oh, I don't know. What's up? When I down my, I don't know why my it hurts. It hurts here. a little bit. Let me see. When I every time when it hurts, I keep rubbing. Oh, okay, here, lie on the side. Lie on the side for now, and then I'm gonna come look. It looks okay though. Uh, video first. <laughs> it's fair. Um. Yeah, let me see here, man. Let me, uh, oh, hang on. Did I finish? Oh, I don't know if I finished. Let me, uh, let me catch up on some chat real quick. But, dude, this is dope, though. I mean, again, the numbers that they had in that 4v2, and now NKNW getting a little bit of a resurgence, push, finally getting control of that top ramp, and then pushing out northeast, now over to that Spire Bridge choke point where BXS and RTG are building their flags with arguably max builders on them as well. This is this is almost I don't know if I want to say this is a must hold, but this is really an important hold here for BXS and RTG because otherwise they're going to get access to all those builders uh, on the flags. Where are they? There we go. Right. Oh wow, BXS now laying down their second one here. Oh wow, they're multi flag building uh, or dual flag building while RTG. They yeah, so so forty two minutes there. Oh, man. I mean, this isn't... Oh, dude, look at the replenishment here from NKNW. This is what I'm talking about, man. I'm going to get a couple AFK armies. These guys need to get into the fight. I mean, this is... Do I need to start calling some people out for just standing still? Rough life. But if they do keep... <laughs> if they do keep getting consistent replenishment, this... Again, this could... They could get challenged maybe at the flag. That would be cool to see if they're able to push them that far. Oh, man. Yo, it's heating up right now. It's heating up, and I'm all for it. I am all for it. Okay. Now shows have been cleared. Argwa has been consumed, and nobody's texted me. Okay. Oh, dang it. Hang on. Man, no. Wow, now they're getting counter-pushed here. <clears throat> see, look at that, man. You see how the momentum swings one way to the other way? Unless NK and W is, is retreating, so that way they can recollect themselves and regather, reform a stage, because this doesn't seem as though they have too many. Unless they're trying to push them away... I guess it depends, right? I think there's a few. I think there's a few ta like good tactical. Ooh, Yakuza! I wouldn't do this if I was them. That I don't know if that is the smartest thing, right there. You're just allowing for basically a twenty v one fight for no reason. If you're gonna fall back, everyone should fall back in unison, and then you basically head back to like a new staging area or a new defensive position, and then you wait to counterattack, right? Or while you're, because you have to think about it. If you're falling back, you should have units that are coming as well, right? So you can kind of meet at a specific staging area, and then you can go ahead and, and then you can go ahead and do a counterattack push in that way, right? Uh, I don't know exactly what NK, I don't really know what the reasoning is here. I mean, they have plenty of units. If they just push them up, they probably, they could counterattack this group of about 20, 25. Um, that doesn't seem out of the realm of pos uh, possibility here. So, yeah, no, pretty, pretty bananas. 23, oops, did I like double post? We might have, I'm not sure. Huh. I wonder, uh, hmm, okay, I guess we'll see. Let's see what they're going to do. Are they going to try to counter push? <clears throat> this is unfortunate. I mean, this actually would have been a great opportunity for them to tell their players, hey, start bringing everyone right around here. 
and then you can counter push once this little once this little forward force gets there. Oh man, interesting. A little bit of a dropped ball there. I mean, again, they have people that are coming. Are they just waiting for troop replenishments at this point? But if that's the case, then push back far enough to where you're not going to get pressured in that way. It didn't seem as though it didn't seem like the numbers were in incredibly advantageous going towards BXS RTG uh, for what we just saw there. Weird. I don't know. Part of me feels like this was a little bit of a dropped ball on NKNW for that engagement on the decision there to do that. It's again, I can maybe understand if they wanted to push back a little bit and then re-engage immediately because they still had numbers there. Did they push back because they didn't want other other units that were around that flag territory or getting closer to the flag territory to to engage further or or start to engage from the BXS RTG side? I don't know. I, I guess I'm I'm just curious on what the play was there because now it just looks like they don't have as many units here at least on this front line as they did before so that yeah that that is a little questioning if i if i do say so myself okay let's see let's see if we're gonna get another another potential push and to be fair this is this is a good play i want to point this out this is a really good play for those of you that are wondering after BXS got the flag down, right, now they're basically double flagging. This is a really good tactic if you're trying to start creating kind of forward operating centers uh, where you can then, because if you're double flag building here, right, then it's going to allow for you to have double the territory to place cities on when you're attacking. So this is a good play by them. Um, obviously, RTG might be a little strapped depending on how the territory opens up because they're basically going to have to build at an angle. But if that's something that they're okay with, then, you know, so be it at that point. Okay, we'll hang out right here. Wish I could turn off those notifications from coming on. <laughs> be, that would just be so nice. Just so nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. So... I've promoted as much as I can in world chats. Let's go start looking. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to SS2-7, and then I'm going to start looking at other groups just to see if there's any other PvP that's going on. I mean, I, again, we're, we'll still hang out, right? They're still going out. I still got to catch up on chat, too, so let me try to do that real quick because otherwise you guys are going to blow me up hardcore up in her. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Oh man! My, oh wow! There's a lot more people in here now. We're almost at fifty, dude. Dope's us. Awesome. Let me let me try to make sure we're on the action consistently here, <clears throat> and let me catch up. What do we got? Oh, look at taking serious coordination to get us in there. Alpha Midi, what's up? Welcome. Actually, BXS RTG Owl BDR versus NK only. Not fair. No, I, I saw some NW in there. I mean, there's there's NW right here. It's, it, it could be mostly NK, uh, but there was a little bit of a mix. Lord Far Queen Lucas, what's up? Alpha NK made it that way. NK poach players from RTG. Oh, interesting. As in, as in what? Like people decided to leave? Is that what you mean there? Uh, Lord Fart? Like people decided to leave or they... Because, I mean, you know, bear in mind, anytime someone says poached, typically what that really means is that, uh, is that they were offered a spot in the alliance and that that individual accepted, right? Typically, they'll reach out to them in DM and just say, hey, we'd love to offer you a spot or if you're interested in joining and you don't want to play there anymore. Now, obviously, if they're spreading like propaganda or, or negative uh, or lies or things like that or misinformation, that's different, right? If you're if you're doing it in a, in a kind of malicious way to get people away, if it's that type um, of poaching. Otherwise, I just, refer, I just refer to that as like just standard recruiting, right? I mean, that's your enemy. You know, if you can get more people off of your enemy's team and on your team, I don't really see anything wrong with that uh, per se. Uh, not something that I want to point out, not something I would engage in. You know, when I've ran, um, you know, when I've managed kingdoms and we've been in KVK, you know, we've never, uh, at least at least for the kingdoms that I've managed, uh, you know, never reached out to our enemies if we know, like if you know, like example, if you know a fight's coming, you know, and, and you're looking forward to the fight, 
you know, never reached out to people and said, hey, you know, you guys should come join us and leave them. Now, if they reach out first, that's different. If you get word that maybe the alliance is imploding or something like that, then yeah, you know, opportunities can at times present themselves. But, you know, always kind of in good taste, right? I, I, I'm a big believer that you, have, you want to do things above board. And if the numbers are even, right, or, or, or balanced-ish, then yeah. Now, if the numbers are incredibly imbalanced, and let's say it's uh, uh, more at a disadvantage on the NKNW side, you know, then, you know, if, if, they, if they're trying to find other players, personally, I don't know if I would do that first still, though. I would maybe try to look at other alliances and try to grab players from like the lower to mid powered groups and then try to have those players work their way up to come into NKNW right before you consider doing something like that for some of the top active alliances. I, again, I just think there's I just think there's good steps that you should take when you're doing things like that. Um, but again, if, if anyone from any side reaches out to others, right, I don't I don't view that as kind of anything on them, right? If they're the ones that are kind of taking the proactive step. Uh, <clears throat> let me see here, Villads, what's up? Welcome, man. Uh, wait, how do you link your vids into a kingdom? You just did an SS two six, but you're watching NK fight. Oh yeah. So uh, for that. We, uh, it's just, I'm just using two clients, right? So I just have two PC clients up. Uh, I'm using, this is my main account uh, now that I'm using to view. That's why you don't see, that's why you don't see, I should probably go here, uh, <laughs> right? This is why you don't see the relevant chat for this group. And you can see up here on the top, it says observing, observing, SS2-7. Uh, so we're, we're viewing this, but I'm, I have my other client up on my other screen. That's my scout account. So I'm basically, just, I was going through each of them and uh, promoting the live stream. And then I'm also using that account to scout and look at other groups so we can transition and watch some more fighting, right? Whenever, whenever this may slow down. Yeah. Sorry, Lord Far, you said, and lied to RTG about starting zone, where they were going to align... Together, that's why RTG had to resurge. Oh. Lied to RTG. Who lied to RTG about? You're saying NK lied to RTG? Oh, were they originally allied? Do I? Oh, let me see if I have that. I don't know if I have that on my... <sighs> Where am I? SS2-7? Oops. Let's go like right here. I think... I, do I have this in my notes? Hmm. No. I, oh, no. I, oh, you might be right. I have RTG NK feet were originally allied going up against Owl, BXS, RBG, and BDR. Okay, interesting. So if that's the case, that may actually play out the way you're saying it, uh, if so. Because that, that's what I originally had them listed as. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you're saying they lied, they had to resurge because NK made it to where RTG wouldn't fight till Zone 5. Well, technically it's Zone 4, but that's either here or there. Okay, 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 all right. A little context, always appreciate Uh, let me see. All right, Lord. Ray Hart, what's up, man? All right, Lord. You know a lot of stories built up for us. Logan Rowe, what's up? I'm interested. Please do tell. Uh, Burn Toprak, what's up, man? BDO versus all. It's fair. Uh, it's, 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 it's really a 4v2 at this point. Uh. Uh, this is a story. Sure. What a villainous traitor is a liar. It wasn't if they would get zone locked. Blue T, what's up? Welcome. There's always two sides to a story until we also hear a story from NK side. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, you know, I haven't really heard anything on, on either side myself. Uh, true, but they will not deny those facts. Chubby Cheeks, what's up, man? Welcome. That's right, dude. LF go. Let's freaking go. Hmm. That is the truth. Oops, one moment.
We're back. We're back. Cool. Action still going on. Had to go take a picture for the lady so she could get something sent to her. <laughs> yeah, so right now NKNW uh, again, man, they have decent I mean again, they're getting they're they're getting some good I guess decent replenishment, we should say. I don't know if I'd say good. <clears throat> but they have numbers here. They're not building right now, so that's important to take note of. BXS and OWL are and RDG. Let me see here how they're doing on the build. I mean, they again, they got a lot of players right now still out here. So BXS has 35 minutes on that build. They got 32 minutes on that one. R, uh, RTG, 26 minutes on that. Yeah, man, they still got, they still got good activity. And just to kind of give you guys an idea on where are we right now, right? So <clears throat> Zone 3 opened uh, all, uh, for the 11 KVK groups going uh, that are in S2 Plus already, which is 1 through 10, 22 through 90. And then there's a few more that ended up going in as well. So like the 11 through 20 groups, the uh, 91 through 118 ended up going in as well um, just recently. And then obviously we have the 155 through 174, or sorry, 173, they went in first. And then you have 175 through 187 uh, that just went in recently, right? So now we're waiting for 188. I think that's the next year that's going to go into S2 Plus um, from, their, from their S2 that we're waiting on right now. But... For here, you can see you have NW, NK is here, and then you have these four, right? So we have, oops, hang on, I have to, oh, I have to remember this, RTG, BXS on this side, and then you have OWL up here, and I think this is BDR up here. So they're the ones who are making the large track. Now, I don't know where, I think RTG here is somewhere, remember, there's RTG hyphen and RTG squiggly. And then the blue group is rise. So I think for the most part, it's probably a five or six V2 in reality. Uh, but just to kind of show you guys the lay of the land for how that looks right now. Yeah, I mean, again, I think NKNW, ha I think I will say this, I think NKNW have an opportunity to push out. I just think that they need the activity there. They need the, the other AFK units and legions to push up. So that way they can make a coordinated and kind of widespread push. Similar to what they were doing before. They had good momentum going forward. Uh, about 15, 20 minutes ago. When they were tr when they were so close to getting there to the edge of that first flag. From BXS and RTG on the front. But again, I think it was just a little loss. Hopefully they'll be able to coordinate something here in a bit i mean again i would imagine they have decent activity that's online but it's just a matter of getting the troops and the units up there right because right now they're just kind of playing defense so i'm wondering if maybe we'll see some type of a, a turn that'll happen here in a bit oh man yo we are peaking right now fam geez what are we at 81 80 plus concurrent viewers man welcome welcome and welcome yeah we are at ss2-7 watching nwnk versus four alliances uh, again, BXS, BDR, RTG, uh, hyphen, and potentially squiggly. I actually did not pay attention enough for that, uh, but we'll try to do that going in. And there looks there's even a Rise player <laughs> that showed up, and then also BDR and Owl uh, on that front. Man, we're doing we're doing big things right now. Oh my gosh, 89. What was that? 90. You guys are killing it right now. Uh, but man, I'm excited. I'm, I'm happy to show you guys off some Zone 3 fights that are going on. This is just the first KVK group that we're taking a look at as well, right? We're going to wait and see how other things uh, go. And I'm already scouting other kingdoms as well on my scout that's on the side. So if I end up finding some more action that's happening, that's what we're going to end up going and looking at. So I'm kind of going through it right now. So if we see another big fight, we'll transition. We'll show you guys some goods. I still got to catch up on chat because you guys are going absolutely bananas. Uh, right now but welcome 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 yeah like i said man i i think i think nknw have some potential here and they could probably make some magic happen we just got to wait and see how things are going to play out so they got that calf you chase him you chase those birds down my little pup right i don't know if anyone here's dogs but my dog my little bijan little small one always chasing birds Okay, we'll see. See, this is the thing. This is okay. So this is what I'm talking about, right? You have some NK and W units that are pushing out, right, and out here in the open field. But why not push the rest? You have all these. 
You got some people right there. You got a cute couple units right there. Mm, but, you know, I mean, like I said, I, I think there could be some opportunity there. But again, maybe we'll just have to wait. Maybe maybe it's just a downtime. I don't know what NK's active time is. That's really important to know too as well because maybe this isn't their peak active time and maybe they're just not able to get a lot of people on. The interesting thing though is that Zone 3 opened on a Thursday. Well, technically it opened Wednesday evening if you're US time and going into Thursday really is where the majority of the remaining Zone 3s open for those S2 plus groups. And for those that are curious on what I mean when I'm talking about that, let me show you. So these are the groups that opened. Right, so it's SS2-2, right, so they opened, SS2-3, uh, SS2-4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, sorry, no, ooh, hang on, we missed 9, but yeah, 9, uh, 10, and 11, right, oh, sorry, not 11, uh, 10, right, so we have 9, right, think about 10, yeah, S2 to S10, so those 9, yeah, sorry, it is 9, <laughs> Let me count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, nine. Okay, cool. I can count. I'm a, I'm a winner. Uh, so those nine KVK groups for S2+, Plus, uh, they had their zone threes that opened. Uh, now, in some of the S2 kingdoms, there are some other groups there that had some other zones that opened too as well. So if we get a chance, that's what I'm looking at right now to see if I can find anything that's pop -a over there because that'd be really cool if we could find some. So let's see, Fang, yeah, Fang TLR isn't doing anything right now in SS2-4, so nothing really popping there. Let's go to SS2-5, and I'll definitely catch up on some chat too as well. Uh, there's also the GG group against TM, right? So we'll see if that's, I, I'm still waiting to see, because I was checking in on them earlier, and I didn't see anything that was really popping off um, yet. Right, because they're building. So TM is built to their first spire. There is TM hyphen two, and then there's UDF right now that's trying to do some building. And I think there's some GG players outside. Yeah, so GG eighty three is actually putting some pressure on them right now. We can show that off here in a bit. Yeah, man. Oh my gosh, what is going on right now, fam? Are we getting? Are we getting raided? We are at a hundred. And 56 viewers. You guys are killing it right now. Bear in mind, our peak was 200 that we hit uh, when I think Zone 2 or Zone 1's opened. Man, just absolutely nuts. Uh, I don't know where all the viewers are coming from, but man, hope you guys are enjoying and having a blast in here right now. Uh, okay, so looks like... All right, let's show off if we can... A little bit of some extra love here on some of the other groups. Let me see if I can do an easy switch. I don't know if this is going to work, but if it doesn't, we'll do it the other way. Let me see here. Mm, nope, it stayed on. It stayed on the right screen. So, yeah, it didn't really get a lot of good, a lot of goods there. So let's do it this way, uh, which will probably just be easier overall. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to pop this over real quick. Lining that up. So here's, this is SS2-5, just to show you. And I guess technically I could, actually I don't even need to do all that. I can just show you guys on, on the main. Really, right, we can just go like this. I'm tripping, right? Actually, you know what, why don't we just go take a look real quick? We can always come back to NK and W. I'm sure they're gonna keep fighting too as well. So uh, here's SS2-5. Um, again, this is the GG TMTA group that's fighting here. And to show you here in Morbrez, which is the western, northwestern zone three, we have TM here who's building out. We have TM2 who's building out. And you can see, I think they're about to do, I think they're about to connect here. Uh, shout out to our boy Ghost. Um, they have a little bit left on this tower. Uh, never mind, I guess they just started it. But once they finish, they'll go for Spire. I guess they technically could still go for Spire, but uh, I guess they're going to wait for to finish that. And then you can see here that GG83 is actually applying some pressure here on UDF. That is limiting their ability to build flags out there to eventually assist. This is actually a really smart play. Uh, most of them are, are flyers too as well from GG83, which I actually think is smart because by sending that, either that or CAV, right? Basically flyers or CAV I think is the best way to go. 
if you're trying to run that far. If you're doing a small force, right, if it's kind of a small strike force, if you're not really sending a large amount of units there where the infantry and the archers or the ranged units, you know, would really come into play. Mia, down. It's here already. Okay, down please. 75 is heat. Yes, it is heat. That's right. 75 is a good heat number for inside the house. <laughs> um, but yeah, you could see this here, right? I mean, again, a lot of flying there from GG83. Something that they're known for. Right, we've seen GG before, and again, we, we you know we're, we're going to talk about the whole. Well, I don't know if we'll really talk about it, but I will be doing a, a separate video on the whole like GG for those of you that saw that with the cheating accusations uh, that TM had made on GG83 uh, for their flying squadron, saying that they were basically moving using a synchronization type of macro or using scripts to move, and it was later proved that they were not. Uh, by COD CS, but yeah, it was interesting uh, to see how that one played out. Here's GG83, though. They're building right now, you can see, going eastward, right? So they have, what, 14 minutes left? And then we have GG13, who's up here as well, and you can see that they're building, right, eastward. So they got about two minutes left on that. Basically, where they're going to end up converging at this point is probably going to be somewhere on this level three, I would imagine somewhere on this spire, uh, sorry, no, they actually have to go the long way. I'm tripping. Because of the way that the, the map is set up, they have to go all the way like this. So here, I'll show you. They have to do... Oh, no, hang on. Actually, wait, hang on. Let me see. Can they come through here? Oh, never mind. They can't come through here. Nice. Okay. So this actually was the side that I was curious on. Okay. Yeah. So if we draw on this, you can see that where they're going to end up coming down for where they'll fight is they're going to have to go basically like do this. Right, so they'll go here, and they're going to have to go here, right? So on the other side, if we take them, for example, they'll build like this and go here. So based on building right now, I would imagine that we're probably going to see some fighting either here on the level 3 Spire Choke, or here on this level three, on this uh, level two spire bridge choke, right? So I think one of these two is probably where we're going to see some action. Given how close, however, GG83 already is, because they have a flag that's being built right here, I, I would almost believe that we're probably more inclined to see the fighting that's going to end up happening here between those two. But I don't think there's really anything going on right now. We can take a quick look, uh, but I don't think anyone has any forces out at the moment. Um, but we can check both of the spires, because to me, this is kind of where I would imagine it happening, but it's not right now uh let's go look s26 we could have something here this is dora tpd and ftw so we'll see if there's something popping off here why is there something what are, what are they doing oh interesting what is going on up here that's so weird that it's this far oh it's probably because of the choke um tpd and ftw and dora oh wow i can't believe they actually ran up that much oh cool maybe we'll get a little skirmish here okay 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 all right, I see you guys. Let me see. What am I look? Oh, that's because this is dueling. Why are they? Oh, because we were looking at more breeze. That's why. So dueling. So let me see. So Dora. Okay, sh I'll be right there. Okay. Okay, stay downstairs. Okay, stay downstairs. I'll be right there. Thank you. <sighs> my baby, I'm sure, just wants to sleep. And my kids will not let her sleep. Uh, but let's see. <clears throat> so we got Dora here. And then we have TPD on this side. So they're going up. And this is SS2-6. So data we have on this one for Zone 3 is... Originally it was FTW and Dora. TPD was going up with BSO against any and RR. But now it looks like TPD is going up against Dora and FTW. Okay. Oh, look. It's like a little Mexican standoff. But they only have some units. So it's Dora FTW. Oh, wow, never mind. TBD actually has a lot more behind. Okay, looks like they're still bringing units up. Are they going to wait to fight? Like, is it going to be... Let me see real quick. So we have one. FTW 2 is over here. Dora's here. TPD. And then what? No one else? Oh, who's over here? RR. Okay. So RR was supposed to be with... They were actually going up against TPD. Interesting. So I wonder if... I wonder what's going to happen there. Do they care? I mean, it's going to be a minute. They have to go through this choke, come up the ramp, 
and then they have to go over the spire over here. Are they are oh they are already hitting it. Look at this. So they got this down to 27. Interesting that they're mostly hitting it with Cav, it looks like. Oh, well, never mind. I guess there is some mage there if we look at the markers and some archers, but it also looks like a healthy amount of Cav. Oh, wow, dude. They're, re they're really sending people up here, though. For the fight. Okay, sweet. Um, I'm, I'm really hoping something might pop off here in a minute. Do not expose our trips. Oh, man you, you, man, you guys are too much. Okay, so we know this is something that could happen. Right, we can always come back to this one. So let's go. So that was, what, SS2-6. We know they're fighting. We know SS2-7 is fighting. Uh, let's see real quick if NKNW is doing any pushes beyond where they are. Uh, and if not, then we will continue. So we're, we're oops, hang on, where am I going? Boom, 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 here we go. Or are things slowing down a bit? Okay. So not really that much that's happening. Okay, a little bit of a standoff right now. So, okay, we'll, we'll have to wait. Let's go hunting then. So we know SS2-6 could be something. Let's go look at SS2-8 and see what's popping off there. Uh, let me catch up on chat, man. Wow, you guys are killing me. Jeez, almost 160 uh, viewers. Oh, man. Blessing. Blessing your boy right now. Let me catch up real quick. Uh, if you look at map RTG, started at Metavan. Logan Red, what's up? It stop anyone else here, too. <laughs> uh, never mind phone bugging. Staff, don't mind me. I am here. What's up, staff? How we doing, man? Welcome. Okay, let's see what's going on. There's something here. Why is there something here? Oh, are they blocking them at the pass? T-O-T-I? That's weird. Here we go. BDO PTW. Is there something going on here? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's something going on. Maybe. BDO. Hence some PT. Okay, let's see where this is at. So they came. Oh, wow, man. Wow, they came really far. Where's their next flag build? So PTW. They got an hour. Okay, so they're just starting to get there. So it's only one that's taken past. Oh, never mind. Purple's taken as well. That's FTP. And then PTW, and then BDO's over here. So it looks like BDO's the only one. Oh, someone did take this, but then something happened. Okay, they just gave it up, I guess. So they're double building right now. They're, oh, I see. They're already at Hydra. They probably don't need to build any further over. So I bet you they're probably just building towards Spire right now, which they are. Okay, so they're basically just sending units long trekking uh, right now, which is going here, Spire, up the ramp, and then fighting over here, wherever it is. Wherever we just saw some units fighting. Okay. So nothing really popping off here right now. And then Doolin. Don't know if we're going to really see anything else going on here. This is what? T-I-T-O. And then F-S-K. Are they a part of each other? Let's double check this off our sheet. So S is 2-8. So it was VP-22 versus F-S-K SLR. And then we have BDO, pay to, uh, pay to, uh, pay to win, uh, PTW, and, and free to play versus, okay. So if it, it was FA, FSK, P Hub, um, and a few others. So in that case, I don't think that we're probably going to see anything maybe in Doolin unless FSK is going to go up against TI and TO, but probably not. So it's probably going to be the PTW and BDO fight. But again, nothing's happening there. So let's move on. <laughs> uh, SS2-9. Let's see what's let's see what's popping up. Then I need to go grab my baby as well here in a minute, just so I can bring her down because she did just wake up. Yeah, because honestly, she'll probably start yelling at me soon. Uh, what, we got 52 minutes left here on the build. Oh wow, are they double? Oh wow, they're double building. Okay. Ooh ooh, what's going on here? Ooh, a Ange and wait, what are they? What are they fighting? Oh, okay, it was just one unit. <laughs> I was like, where is it? Uh, so, Ancient Milf. Where's Milf, though? Are they red? PGR. Laws. Wow, they're really far. Uh, and this is SS2-9. Let's see real quick. So, as, as zone three, so oh, this is here. So, it's going to be, so this is it. So, it's Laws, PGR, POTC, Ange versus Milf, and Dilf, and more Brez. 
Doolin is FGH7 versus ANCS. So that means that more breasts is probably really where it's going to be popping right now, I would imagine. So Ainge has that, and POTC took that one. So they have to be flagging south. They are. Okay, cool. So now it's just a matter of figuring out, are they going to fight? Are they fighting somewhere on a choke point? They have to build here, so they have to go through Spire. I'm really curious now. Let's see if we can find it. Because they would have to meet up. Remember, they can't go this way. They can go this way if they want to use flying. Uh, or if they want to use some range. But they basically have to go through here, either this bridge or that bridge, to get somewhere. So, this bridge, and then I don't know if there's a ramp over, so probably not, which means they'd have to go around because the ramp's over here. Okay, hang on, hang on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We just saw a path. Another dead path. So, and the cool thing is when you do it like this and you're scouting out the dead path, it, it, the important part is that you can see the lines where they're running from. And sometimes that will indicate where any potential fighting, but it doesn't look like we're going to probably be seeing anything soon, I would imagine. Um, yeah, so probably nothing that's really popping off here. Uh, let's go back to six because I'm curious if that Dora PTD thing is popping off and then we could take a look there. Uh, while I go grab the little one. And let's see. Okay, dude, they're close. We're just going to hang out here. Uh, give me a sec while I go grab my baby. And we'll BRB to get you guys some more PVPers. But we'll hang out here. Hopefully, they'll, they'll jam it out in a minute.
We're back. We're back, gang. We're back. Everyone's like, boss, you did not move the scrolling thing enough so we could watch the fight. <laughs> apologies. Apologies. Huh? Mm -hmm. What's up? Okay, okay. I don't know. It's okay, just don't lean on it. Lean on the right side. Go get the ice pack. Go put the ice pack on it. And cl close the bathroom door, please. Real quick. Thank you, sweetie. All right. We weren't, uh, hopefully we weren't gone too long. <laughs> TPD, is that TQR? No, I'm, I'm reading wrong. So it's TPDRR. And then door FTW. Man, we must we, we must have missed it just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit that we missed. There, it's not my fault. My daughter had a ginormous poop that I had to change. So, for anyone who has kids, you understand. And a little bit leaked out, so I had to change the onesie too. You guys get it. Uh, curious here on... Hmm... I guess it looks like they got pushed off the ramp, but this is rough. I wouldn't fight on the ramp with just a few people here in this situation. This is the rough part, really, because you don't want to be fighting this like 10, 12, 15 versus 7 or 8, right, that you have on the ramp. On top of this, oh gosh, I really want to see some more spread here happening from TPD. This actually could be a lot better. Example being, instead of fighting in this cluster, right, where you're aiming down, right, spread this out. You know, like this, and then you can attack, right, from multiple angles. Something like that would be a little bit better there, so you're just not fighting kind of herd versus herd or cluster versus cluster in that case. And one of the, remember, one of the things we often talk about when you're, when you're doing ramp fights is you don't want to sit there and fight on the ramp. The reason you don't want to fight on the ramp is because you don't want to be put into that thin choke point. You want to push out of the ramp, and you either go to one side or the other side, or you banana peel, depending on how many people you have. You could even run right through if you have, you know, enough activity, or if you're letting, you know, your infantry and, uh, you know, pushing that, maybe cav going around, and you're just kind of focusing your range there one by one, but just kind of getting them to the top of the ramp for the purpose of just having some better number advantages. Not number advantages, but just having um, clear lines of sight, and then being able to spread them out so they're not clustered as much, either at the bottom of the ramp or if they're just sitting there on the middle of the ramp. On top of that, you also have a number of people here that are just AFK, I guess, so it doesn't really look too good, so to speak, and TP, they're just like, hey, we're just chilling. <laughs> we're just chilling. You know, let the people have the action of the fighting they want. All right, let me catch up real quick. Uh, so, oh, someone sent me some, something else here. There's more. Oh, wow. I will add these in a bit. I think someone just sent me some new old records for some of these things. Hmm. <laughs> Oh did, oh, did she finish that muffin? I'm going to go get her another muffin. One sec. Muffin alert. Here's Sweeney. Muffin? Your muffin? Okay, gotta make, gotta make sure those snacks are going good with her agua, that high quality H2O. And then I got my little camera here on my phone too so I can watch them. So dope. There we go. Oh my gosh, dude. My dog, Max. Uh-oh. Did he just eat her muffin? <laughs> Let's go check on it a second. Oh, no, no. Okay, good. He didn't. He tried. He was licking it. They have a unique relationship. <laughs> yeah. Max! Okay, he better be sitting. <laughs> Just eating all my daughter's food, man. She hungry. She hungry. <laughs> all right, let me catch up on chat real quick. Uh, let me see. My lines were called poachers, Casper. What's up, Casper? My lines were called poachers because people reached out to us and we never approached them first. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> no, that can happen. That can happen. 
I, again, I don't really know if I'd consider that poaching. I just consider that, like, you know, you're messaging people. Well, like I said, if, if it's done in a negative way or if it's done in a way that isn't indicative of something happening in that alliance or if depending on what the powers are, right? If it's, like, a lower-level alliance and, like, there's just, you know, 20 or 30 active people in there, I don't know if I really would consider that. But if it's, like, two healthy active alliances, then, yeah, I think that's a little bit more kind of all on that line. <laughs> Lucas doesn't matter too much about early diplomacy. A lot of people can take it the wrong way, regardless. NKNW is putting up a respectable fight given that layout. Much respect. Yeah, I mean, the, they're still showing up and basically at 2v5, 2v6. So. Oops, hang on, let me see. I think she just overlooked. Here you go, sweetie. <laughs> Doc keeps eating all my kids' muffins. All right. Don't know what's going to happen. Okay, never mind. Okay, okay, okay. Looks like they're setting up. Let's go take a look real quick and see how the NK fight is still going. Oh, wow. Short answer. It's not. <laughs> it's not going. So looks like UDF is still there. We're in 7 09. We were just looking here though, right? So, oh, but this is a little bit at the midpoint. Okay, cool. Let's see real quick if there's something going on here. Yeah, Mia, don't let Max eat it. Oh, these dogs. Okay. Is there something going on here? Ooh, what's this? Okay, MILF laws. Who are they? Were they fighting someone and I missed it? Oh, what, accidental hit? Oh, those had to be accidental hits. Okay. Is it accidental hits? I thought it was them versus the others. Am I crazy there? Oh, no, I'm, I'm wrong. Sorry, Milf Dill versus Lost. Oh, yeah, never mind. So they are fighting. Oh, I'm tripping. So we're actually going to see a possible earlier fight than I thought. Yeah, because Dilf is going here. Well, no, I'm sorry. Still, we're going to have to wait a bit. This is just going to be flyer hits. They still have to build all the... Oh, wow, look at this. Look at this. Okay, so they're kind of ready for this fight if one happens here on the river. Where are they building? I'm so lost. Oh, dude, call of turrets. Look at that, dude. They called in the turret brigade. I wonder if they're going to try and do flag place here for laws because... They okay, so they're they're gonna so they're, we're probably gonna see a fight potentially happening at Spire soon, uh, in a bit between them because they can't go up. They probably only flagged up here for magma. Uh, and, oh, never mind. They're they're probably gonna have to go through there because PJR probably has to come through. So, in that case, it's gonna be these two rights versus these, and then probably them up here. So this is probably gonna be a two v four for Dilf Milf, uh, going up against the others. Okay, so that could be someone that's going down. Is this six? Door TPD. GM, let's see. Nine. How about 11? BB versus MG? What's happening here? What's happening here? Uh, let me see. I says you missed the fight. Oh, man. Jeez. I'm like, I'm really, I'm really behind. I'm really behind. Let's see real quick. What's going on over here? So baby MG, there's MG. Where's baby? <clears throat> Ma'am. Hmm. Okay. I don't really understand this one. This is just zone two, though. I don't see baby. I think I pushed out somewhere. Okay. <clears throat> How about S two? ANCS BD. Oh, no, an F. You know what? I want to go back. I still want to see if that TPD door thing is going to pop off. And then we can always go back and check on the NKNW2 as well. We'll just have to see if anything's really going to go on there. Oh, oh, look at that, dude. They pushed. And we, ju and we just missed it, so they did go at it. <clears throat> Here we go. I'm doing great, buddy. How are you? Uh, Susan Commander, what's up? Finally, we're on the other side of the table. Us is BXS. We're from S1 outnumbered in fights with others. Violator, yo, 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 what's up? 
Yeah, okay, the reactive time is out. Okay, so Fenrir, what's up, man? Welcome. Uh, let me see. Sorry, you said NKNW active time zone is Asia time zone. No, that makes sense. Uh, Lauren Belindis, what's up? It's hard to control multiple marks, especially if you use melee range units. Yeah, no, it can be. That is for that's absolute. Yeah, GG83 versus TM. Korean Manuel, what's up? Yeah, baby. Violator, don't expose our scripts. Talk Bob, what's up? Hey, hey, welcome. Uh, Ray Har BDO is the strongest alliance in the game, guys. Number one in Roho. Boss will stream their fight when it happens. You know what? Speaking of the Ro thing, I've actually been wondering about... Uh, so my thought here, because I'm, I'm going to have an opportunity to maybe stream L and, L L and V's row. Not stream, but record L and V's ROW match. Oops. You okay? What happened? What happened? What happened, huh? What happened to my little bike? What did you hit? I think she hit here. Yeah. Dad, look. I think she hit Well, yeah, I think so, too. That's why you got to be careful, kiddo. Right? <laughs> Go ahead, you can turn it off. Here, do you want to watch something? No, I'll put something on for you. No, it's okay, sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, here. Did you want one of these? Boom, you want another one? Here, I'll hold that. Okay, or yeah, sure, just put it there. Here you go. Let me put something else for you. Here, just put it there. It's okay. It's okay. It should be right. Where should we put a lot? I'll put something on here. Well, I watch on TV something yeah. else. Yeah, you can go watch something else with me. I'll put something on here. I'll put something on here for you, sweetie, okay? So, TPD pushing out Dora FTW. Pretty decently there off the ramp, too, as well, if I might add. Or sorry, TPD RR. Okay. You know what tomorrow is? Mm-hmm, I do. Wait. Today's the twenty-one. It is. <gasps> you oh, know sorry, what's tomorrow, yeah. right? We do. What's tomorrow? Are you gonna watch tomorrow some other videos? It's time. Wait, yep. Sophia, I'm um, coming to the movie tomorrow? Uh, no, it's just gonna be yes, I think, sweetie. Wait, but I don't want Sophia to miss oh, it. Okay, okay, we'll see. We'll call her and talk. Call her mom. I think she'll say it. Call her up. Call everything. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry. So, what I was trying to say earlier was that uh, the. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can get in and record LNV's row, but the other thing I was thinking is I could also join any of the alliances, any like top alliances that have, uh, that are going to do row, um, and what I could do there is I could join with my scout, that's what I was thinking of doing, and then I could also, we could also watch those um, as well, right? So if there's any, uh, so again, I have to go and look, but that's something I was thinking about. For any of the times, I have to convert the times to mine for EST. But if there's any ROW matches that are going to be going off and I'm able to join those, uh, and I'm able to join those with my scout, if those alliances have an open slot, then that could be really cool, right? Because then I could record some more matches. So um, I'll, just, I'll have to reach out to the ROW uh, in the ROW category on my Discord just to see um, if there are. And then, you know, we can always kind of go from there. Yeah, but if there's any alliances there that have an open spot... And, you know, uh, uh, and you're cool with my scout joining just so I could watch. I mean, I'd be more than happy. Just hit me up on Discord. Uh, go, 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 PDL. Yeah, I really want to see if the NK thing is still going. Uh, oh, oops. be careful, be careful there, sweetie. Killer's over here. There you go. Do it like that. So I'm really curious to see what is that SS2-7. Yeah, let's, I, I just I want to go see if they're still pushing because because that that was that was really fun to watch. Oh, be careful! Be careful! Let's see. Oh wow! Look at that man! I still got some fighting going on here. There we go.
Oh man, dude, yo, awesome, man, awesome though to see so much love, man, coming coming in the chat. I wonder if I wonder if it was just a bunch of people got raided or, or what happened. But man, that was really cool. Hope people enjoyed. At least at, at least for the number that was in here early. <laughs> wow. Okay. What you touching? Oh, I don't think there's any more muffins there, Killer. Yep. I don't think there's any muffins, any more muffies. Okay. Well, at least on the bright side, at least NK and W have stabilized the top of the ramp. So now it's just a matter of seeing, you know, are they going to be able to build or are they going to end up getting pushed? Because remember, oh, dude, look at this, man. So RTG, 42 minutes on that flag build, and then BXS... 39 on their next one here so they finished all of these dude wow and btx is expanding more on the east side or on the west side as well so they're doing another double flag build here jeez man they are really pushing hard i mean yeah this is i mean this is Ugh. It, 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 it may be rough man depending on what N, on what nw is going to be able to do because they might push them out Oh, look at that, dude. They almost have. So you got some BXS and OW. They're basically scouting, camping the bridge there. Which means the only way NW is going to be able to go and assist is if they beat them on the bridge or if they're just sending flying units over uh, to assist. Wow. Right? Unless... Or no, did I miss it? Oh, no, never mind. I did miss it. Sorry. <laughs> they have like a whole open area down here. I'm tripping. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, they can just go around that uh, uh, that stripper river. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um. Wait, let me see, Violator. We played this game for four seasons, but don't report us until we fought to you. Uh, our members got him banned. Yeah, we asked. Uh, there was a fight, uh, 2009 codes. Okay, yeah, no, maybe we'll take a look here in a sec. Uh, people can still find a loophole. <laughs> uh, 2009. said, is uh, observing other servers available uh, only available on S2 Plus? Uh, no, 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 no. We we can observe servers uh, uh, servers on any of the KBK groups. So yeah, yeah, on any. Um, December. I like that, man. Looks like they were able to hold a little bit. Uh, people can still want to live and cheat, but my point is, if it was in cheat, just give them evidence. Yeah. Needed. Yeah, if you bounce someone's account, you need to give evidence justification. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the important thing there. Casper, what's up? I just watched your Top Kills video. You're missing Dr. Werewolf on that list. What's his power? Uh, oh, that's the thing I forgot to mention too as well because we only ended up going to about, I think, 75 million power. So if Werewolf was under 75 million power in the last 24 hours uh, and I looked, then there's the chance that uh, they got missed because I, I was only looking at players at 75 million power or higher. But you said he's in SS2-12. Uh, yeah, no, I can take a look, though. SS2-12. Okay, so that's my S11 account. Okay, dang, girl. Don't be, don't be banging with my spoon. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to look. Uh, you said, oh yeah, we researched the fight. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what I was saying. If, if he was under 75 mil and that, and that's my fault because I did forget to say that that was one of the things I had written down, but I, I totally forgot because I was only going up to 75 million power. And the reason, the reason I do that is because if I don't put a cap on it, if I don't put a cap on it, the, the challenge is that 
uh, if I don't do that, then honestly, I could spend a whole other day pulling the data because there's more players. The lower you go in power, the more the more condensed of players there will be, which means that's just that many more accounts that I have to check or player profiles. So I have to click. Um, I got to click on the card and then click on profile so I can view the data. It's just it's a lot it's a lot more work. That's usually why I cap it off at about 75 mil because it already takes a lot longer to do that type of a pool than it does for others. So, uh, but, but that makes sense then. If, so if he was below 75 mil, then yeah, that, that's why they wouldn't have got counted. However, I need, to, I need to really strongly remember to say that because otherwise, if I don't say that, then you know, no one's going to know. <laughs> so yeah, I need to, I need, I may have said it the last video I did, but uh, yeah, I need to make sure that I'm keeping that up. AB, what's up? Why does this look so much like Rise of Kingdoms? Uh, well, this is made by the, I guess, similar-ish developers. Uh, but the game at its core is, uh, I would argue, uh, unique and different, but but more competitive uh, than COD, just because of the uh, uh, just because of the true range PvP that you get here in COD versus uh, Rock, where it's basically everyone smashing their faces together, regardless of the unit type. You know, you have your on-field uh, your on-field buildable structures, you have your artifact skills that you can time out and use at your choosing, flying units, etc. Right, things can go over terrain. So I, I, I think there's enough unique identifiers, but yeah, uh, b to answer the question made by a similar uh, developer. <laughs> a bad copy pasta. Uh, no, not really. Actually, I would say I actually I would say COD. Uh, I would say COD. I mean, if you're using the terms of copy paste, I would see. I would. I wouldn't even put COD in the copy paste. I would. I would put COD as um, building off a building off of a uh, of a well known foundation because technically Rock is a copy paste of of other games. I mean, you can make that argument that you know any game after the original Kingdom Builder that you know. I mean, whether that's I don't know if it's a game of war from far back when or if it's from uh, farther back than that. But there's plenty of Kingdom Builders that came before Rock, so, you know, I, I, I think it's a little, well, I, I'll just say, I, I, I wouldn't use the word copy-paste in that case. Um, unless it's literally a copy-paste and the only thing that's different is just the units and the graphics, and that, then you could probably make an argument there. But COD is respectfully, no, you know, not even close to that. Which is a good thing, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Makure strategy. What's up? Welcome. Absolutely a further refinement. No, that I think that's a really good way of putting it. Uh, you know, COD basically, and bear in mind, it, it is a little different because the relationship with Rock and COD is a lot closer than other Kingdom Builders, right? Uh, Warpath is very similar, right? Also made by Farlight. So, you know, uh, the uh, or sorry, what is it? Lilith Farlight or whatever, uh, whatever it is there. But, right, so you can argue those games are, because it's kind of all made under the same umbrella, they're more likely to have a lot more similarities. Compared to, if you're looking at something like State of Survival, Lords Mobile, um, Infinity Kingdom, and Rock, right, all made by different developers, at least I believe SOS and uh, Lords Mobile are, then, you know, that I think you can look at those games and then, you know, kind of cross-reference their features and uh, mechanics that they have in there and then probably make a little bit more of a, Maybe a case for any of them that might have too many similarities that would give you more of an indication of it being more of a copy, a copy paste. But yeah, I like to believe COD is unique enough to stand alone in its own right. Um, and whether that's just you know a refined, updated version of what Rock was doing, uh, I think COD is you know really has a lot of potential. <laughs> yeah. Really curious where we ended up getting that big boom from, though, man. Gosh, it was like a bunch of people that just came in. I'm sure I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm sure I'll figure it out at one point. <clears throat> maybe it's the big world. Unless it was just from my announcement. Then maybe. You know, maybe that was it. 
Oh, nice. My alliance captured the spire. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? I, I did not see no spire. Oh, uh, capped here. Oh, uh, where's 648572? I know. I'm basically already there. Dude, they're still going at it, though. Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, Mokir says they also have cross-ported many quality life, life features to RL. Oh, sorry, you mean to rock? AB, sorry for starting a debate. Thanks for the answer, though. Oh, hey, no worries, no worries. I mean, you know, honestly, those are the kinds of things I, I very much enjoy uh, and love talking about. So, uh, yeah, no, never. Never have to. Never have to apologize. Uh, Casper, Ryan, there are many differences like terrain, range marches, graphic differences. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, well, yeah, Ryan says, meh, they straight copy pasted. I played both, they're the same, nothing's different. Uh, I mean, respectfully, that's not true. Uh, like, like we were saying before, you know, COD has uh, true ranged PvP, which Rock doesn't. COD has flying units, Rock doesn't have that. Um, COD has on field buildable structures, keeps, uh, barricades, uh, turrets, Rock doesn't have those. Um, it has flying units. Uh, Rock doesn't have those. Or sorry, I think I said that already. Um, artifact skills that you can time out and use, which is basically like you being able to you know time that out yourself on how you want to tactically use that offensively, defensively. Um, uh, so uh, Ryan, what, what we mean is true ranged PvP. Um, Rock doesn't have true ranged PvP. Rock has ranged units, but the ranged units hit other units at, in the face, right? So you have to basically hug the units and kiss them. What we're saying is that in COD, you're actually firing from range, right? At distance. And, and that's the big difference there. Is that's why we say it's true ranged PvP. Because uh, the idea of ranged PvP is that you're fighting, is that you're firing away from the unit and not right up close. Uh, I mean, uh, unless unless they've changed things recently, uh, I remember for the years that I played Rock, uh, their ranged would always, uh, their ranged PvP would always, or sorry, the ranged units would always be having to hit face with the other units. Um, you know, in COD, you can have a unit essentially attacking from here, right? So like this unit would be attacking this unit and they would be firing at range. Um, in, in COD, or in Rock, the way that, again, unless this has changed as of recently, uh, basically it's like two units like this, right? It's you have a unit here and a unit here, and they're just hitting each other's face, right? It's basically like these units. This is what's happening, right? This is it. They're just, it's just brawling, essentially. Um, however, if that's changed, I, I'd love to see a video on it uh, where the units are, are you know, a distance away from each other and then they're firing uh, arrows or whatever it may be. Um, yeah, just let me know. Uh, Peaky, what's up? Welcome, GG83. Oh, is there some action going on now in uh, GG83's group? If so, if so, we can have a check. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I guess that's another way of doing it. It's like the range units... Like, see, he, like, here's a good example. You see this unit here? Like, this unit here is, like, these units are attacking at range. In Rock, that's not how it is. In Rock, the units are right next to each other, right? They're, they're basically all animating an infantry unit, right? That's really what it is. Like, they're basically all infantry units. They've just given them different unit classifications. So, uh, right, so, like, they call it range or they'll call it cav or something, but... At the end of the day, right, you're hitting all of their units, regardless of type, are all hitting each other right in the face. Um, and, and, you know, respectfully, that's just not true range PvP. Uh, the unit is range, but that's just not true, not, it's not true range PvP combat. 
Yeah, which is why, respectfully, COD will always be above Rock uh, to me in that regard. Um, as just a more competitive kingdom builder that emulates more of what I would imagine uh, a player that would like to see, like, true range PvP. Like, when you think of an archer, you don't think that that archer has to run all the way up to the infantry unit to attack it, <laughs> right? You you think to yourself, oh, well, the archer is going to, you know, go get close, but have be, have a little distance, a little separation, and then they'll attack. Like, that's what you think of. Um, so, you know... Uh, unfortunately, I think the, the challenge is, is that there's been... Um, the challenge is that if you look across the history of Kingdom Builders, there's not really another Kingdom Builder out there besides COD that is doing it at the quality level that COD is doing it at and has true range PvP. Um, you know, like Game of War, I don't believe had that. Art of Conquest, I don't believe had that. Um, oh, Peaky, you said GG83 group is moving. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's go take a look. Uh, oopsies, hang on, where am I going? Mm, hang on, hang on, hang on, where's... Ah, <sighs> uh, this is SS2-5. Okay, let's take a look. What are, you, what are you trying to do? Yeah, get your chew on. Okay, yeah, sure, you want that? Uh, okay, let's see where we're going here. So this is GG83, so the group is moving, which means if they're moving over here to TM, then they have to... Let, let's see, where are they? Oh, here we go. Oh, dude, we might get some banging action here, fam! Oh, Yo, I'm gonna be honest, dude. The people who left, you should not have left. Oh my gosh! Okay. Oh, dude, they are coming! I'm so excited right now. Oh my gosh, the biggest fight. Dude, I might need to go back. Oh man, I wish I could go back and start pinging uh, the groups. Oh, dude, this is gonna be Nutter Butters. I'm so excited right now. Oh man, I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is going to be sick. If you're not in here, be square. Yeah. I, I, I yeah, and I don't want to I don't want to ping my Discord again. I, I usually try to uh, refrain on using like at everyone's and things like that, you know, only like one time every once in a while. But oh man, dude, it is it is about to pop off here because this is this is going to be a fight. GG83 and 13 are going to fight them here. And oh my gosh, Dude, tell your friends, tell your wife, tell your kids, tell your cousins, twice removed, second removed, whatever you got. Let your homies know. Uh, Ryan says, I like ro I like rock fighting better. Just easy. Artifacts don't work laggy. Uh, I mean, that's not true. Artifacts do work. Um, and the only time that you might see artifacts lag is if, you know, there's hundreds of marches out on the field. Respectfully, though, the same thing happens with the same thing happens in rock. You know, think about it. I mean, you have less animations happening in Rock, but you still get just as bad lag when there's that many people out, out or sorry, when there's that many people out on the field. You know, so when it comes to lag for the amount of units that you're seeing on the field, I don't think that there's really a big difference between COD uh, and Rock because anytime you have that many amount of troops on the field, you're still going to see lag no matter what. Um, but the difference is, is that being able to have more uh, tool options per player, that's that level of customization, that level of depth is a lot more interesting and intriguing than basically, you know, with where Rock is at. And I say this respectfully, um, right? Which is where you're. Oh, did someone did you drop something? Why did you drop your chupon? Ten bucks says it. Oh, I got it. I got it. Hold on to my phone. Boom. <laughs> I know, I'm funny. Daddy's a funny guy. Oh my gosh, it's about to happen. Uh, but sorry, what I was saying about the rock thing is that, uh, is that I mean, for the most part, right, the only rock stuff you really have going on is just, is just the fighting itself, right? 
there's no uh, there's no on-field buildable structures there's no artifact skill usages that you can do right it's basically you just moving your unit and going to smash your, its face against another unit's face um right so it's it's very straightforward it's very basic right it's very rudimentary uh combat and that's not necessarily a bad thing it's just for me i want more you know i want more i want more uh, I, I want a higher skill ceiling with my pvp uh in kingdom builders and i think cod is respectfully the first stepping stone to doing something like that that's really pushing the standard and the frontier for the genre uh, that no other game really has thus far. Again, at the level it's doing it, the quality it's doing it, um, and for something that is has recently uh, been released as well. Um, but again, man, you know, again, people people should play what they want to play, right? I'm not trying to make it seem like Rock is an awful game, not at all. Uh, but I do think we we should respect the clear differences um, that the games present to themselves, or or that the games present. Dude, here we go, man. GG with the flying Selly Team Six coming out. Spire trying to get down. Where are we at with the Spire right now? Let's see. We are. If I can click on the Spire. Oh man, that Mordo's face is in the way. So there's still 57,000. Gonna need a minute there. Ghost tanking, or not tanking, never mind. That's an archer. That's a range PvP for his mage unit there. Chi Chi 83. I think I see some 13 units too coming in here as well. This is really nice, man. This, I want to say, is quality coordination from GG83. Look at the spread that they have going on here, right? This is, is this, again, this, I don't know if I want to go as far as saying this is perfection, but this is really well done. Look at the arc that they're forming right look where they're hitting they're almost forcing tm to either spread or they're hitting them from multiple different angles again this is ideal this is what you want to see where you're reducing the amount of aoe damage that's going to be inflicted on you and then you're outputting a lot more aoe damage on your opponents and again they're spreading out almost all the way to the edge maybe you could go a little more but th still this isn't bad right for what they're doing and i like the usage here of the flying to basically extend the range for the battlefront where they're not just uh, funneling everything here into the bridge, right? This is actually well done because think about if a lot of these players also brought out brought out uh, non-flying units, how much more congested the bridge would uh, the bridge would be. However, if they push all the way through the bridge, and that's one of the big things we often talk about, is do not just sit there on the bridge, right? Push out beyond the bridge, meaning you want to push through the bridge. Don't just sit there, right? And that's I think the one opportunity that I'm seeing right now from them is push out. And then push over here. Like one way to do this is think of your ranged flying units as your as your ranged PvP. Why not put like? As, let me give you an example. If they push here, and they come this way, right? And then just fill this out, and then let your ranged units that are here do all the ranged work, right? And then you just let them support you going in. Easy. So I think I think that's one thing I would maybe like to see them do is don't get stuck on the bridge. But push out of the bridge. But again, this is still well done from them. TM is holding though, right? They're not letting up. Again, they're holding on the bridge. Condensing. Yo, there's our boy Hulkston. Shout out. There's Junie. I think we saw I think we saw Ghosty Poo there as well. A little bit. There's Goblin TV. Shout out to Goblin Man. Make sure you guys go check him out. He's got good stuff going on. Yo, Mythanimbo. What's up? Dude, they're going at it. This is nice, man. This is nice. This is what I'm loving right now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you want to turn that up a little bit? Yeah, why are you always eating my stuff? That's what I really want to know. Why can't you get your own stuff to eat? And yes, I'm talking about my baby. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't eat that. Uh, 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 uh. Don't eat that, don't eat that. Oh my gosh, I'm to dry this off now, girl. Jeez. Whoa. No, that was it. Yeah, can you eat something else? <laughs> Yo, look at that, man. Viewers are climbing for the GG in the TM fight. That's what we're talking about. I tell you guys, man. Be in the game. Where is... Ooh, let me see. Cool. Mia! Sweetie, can you bring me her little snack uh, box? Please? Look at this. Goes right back to eating. Doesn't care about me. 
Uh, Jorge Morales, what's up? Welcome. Honestly, if you're watching these guys PvP and you still don't believe there is skill involved in your Beyond Salvation. I mean, this is the thing, man. I will say this, and, I'll, and I'm going to say this respectfully. GG, the GG group thus far, in my opinion, has shown me the most amount thus far. And I'm not saying this is, I'm not going to say this is like a 10 out of 10 or, or a 9 out of 10 or anything like that. But I will say this. When it comes to micromanaging, having good positioning... And being able to organize a large body of people, thus far, for all the PvP that I've watched, and those of you know, all I do is scout kingdoms and watch PvP. Like, that is one of my joys in life. Hopefully I don't get smacked here. Um, I will say, right, G the GG group for 1-8, for 8-3, and 1-3 has, has, again, I would argue, the most amount of tactical awareness and uh, strategy that I've seen that's been applied thus far. Uh, and that's one of the things that I absolutely love about where I truly believe the ceiling is. For Con I don't think we're anywhere close. Let me point that out. I, th I don't believe we're anywhere close to the ceiling of quality PvP that we could be seeing in COD. I think that we'll get there right at some point. But I don't think that we're anywhere close at the moment. And because of that... Um, oh, Mia! Sweetie! Can you bring me some sticks? Okay, we'll see. We'll see how much my uh, my kid loves me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and how that goes. Uh, but sorry, as I was saying, is that, uh, again, in short, you know, I, I think the GG group has done the most so far. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Oh my gosh, I'm back. Okay, sorry. How do you get... I don't know if you guys like veggie straws. My kid loves veggie straws. So, I have to keep these on hand, dude. You know, you just gotta hand these out like crack rocks. But just the healthy kind of crack rocks. Uh, but yeah, sorry. So what, what I was trying to say in short, I, again, I don't want to make it too long-winded. I just want to say that... Um, Right, the ceiling, the potential ceiling for COD strategy and tactics, in my opinion, resembles that of kind of your traditional RTS. So, if you if you're looking at something like StarCraft, Age of Empires, jeez, uh, Age of Mythology, Command and Conquer, etc., uh, Warcraft, right? These are more traditional RTS games. Mia, can you open the door? Uh, right, and so for me, I think that. Because of the fact that COD has true ranged PvP in it. Can you open the door all the way? Thank you, sweetie. Um, because of the fact that COD has true ranged PvP, it has flying units, it has these uh, artifact skill usages, right, that you can time out and use at your choosing. I think that I think that with COD, it's really taken this step forward in the genre that it's, it's more so getting closer to resemble that of a traditional RTS. And because of that, I think that the opportunity for where that ceiling can be is much higher than... Where, where Rock, where State of Survival, where Lords Mobile, where Infinity Kingdom, where Game of War, where Art of Conquest, etc., uh, Warpath, right, you name it, all these other kingdom builders, there's a lot more that you can do in COD because of that. And so that's why when, when, I, when I look at it from that uh, point of view and I look at what GG, I look at what the GG group is doing, I, I want to say they've impressed me the most thus far out of all the PvP that I've watched simply because of the fact that they you can you can you can see right i mean i mean look at what's happening on the field i really think it's important to, for people to pay attention right this is the second time i mean again look look at how they're spreading right look and again this isn't perfect it could obviously still be a little bit better but even when we saw that fight happening earlier across the river right they're basically forming a kill box right you get them thin off the, you get them thin off the choke from the bridge and you spread so you're reducing the amount of aoe damage that can be inflicted on you and then you're hopefully increasing the amount of aoe damage that you can inflict on your opponent so this is what i'm really talking about if you want to understand where i'm coming from on this and where the potential of cod can be which is why i believe that cod has so much potential to be the best kingdom builder on the market if they just hone in they double down on a lot more of these types of things 
that we're seeing um, and allow for that open field PvP to really be there. Uh, and it doesn't become like this call of turrets, call of barricades type thing where you're just seeing those things built in mass. Like I've talked about before with those, barricades and turrets and keeps, those have to be built in tactical ways, strategic placements. Something that you, uh, you have a limited amount to use and you're never going to be able to have those be something that is really going to turn the tide of battle right in a big impactful way. They should be complementary add-on pieces. Um, not something where you're building a thousand barricades or a thousand turrets on either side of the bridge, because honestly and respectfully, nobody wants to see that, right? It just stagnates and slows the game down too much. So. I have no idea what my daughter's gonna do. I'm gonna bait her in real quick with some more of these and then we'll get right back to it. <laughs> Here you go. How about that? How about that? Yes, okay, good. She took it. Anyways, um, yeah, so it's like I was saying, right? Uh, short version is that I just think GG, I just think the GG group thus far has shown me the most. If I really had to rate where I think they're at versus uh, and bear in mind, I'm not saying I've watched every single alliance and every single big fight, but I but I will say confidently that I have watched probably a lot more than everyone else has, and just because of the fact that I have accounts and characters in every single kingdom, right? For those of you who may not know, uh, depending on how newish you are, I see we have wow, we actually broke our numbers. Oh my god, sorry, I I, I was going on this rant and I wasn't even looking at how many viewers we have. Uh, wow, I, I think I, I think we peaked at or whatever. It says two nineteen for me right now so wow i mean geez already breaking our previous record of 200 uh people in the chat man you guys are just showing up and i appreciate the love and the support so much thank you um uh, again right for those of you uh that are looking to get updates i know i should probably mention it too as well usually while we have decent amounts of people here but i will post a link to the discord uh probably should pin it but i'm going to try and post it real quick for you so again, anyone who wants to ever get access uh, to, uh, to let, sorry, if you want to get updates on uh, notifications on when we end up going live, um, you can join the Discord. I'll show that off real quick here by just scoot douching it over. Um, and you join, you'll select reaction roles. It's this one, third from the left, the one that says Call of Dragons. It's the third from the left over here. And thankfully, my daughter did not bap. Um, and then from there, you can, oh, sorry, uh, the one here on the right where it says COD Live Notify, you'll just select that. There's also a sub donate page too as well for those of you that would like to contribute beyond just the regular viewership. Yeah. So good stuff, right? And usually we'll post, this week is kind of a uniqueish week because, I'm going to be honest, my daughter's scaring me. One moment. <laughs> yeah, I see you. Can we come what? down? Yeah, thanks. Push this in all the way. Let's do that. Let me see that. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'll let you back up because I'm a lover, not a fighter. <sighs> and bear in mind, uh, now TM and TAR. Oops, hang on, I got it right here. You don't, you don't need the big one, okay? I got them right here. And I love how they're also stuck on your pants. Anyways, TA and TM, or sorry, TM pushing out now. I'm dropping. Oh, sorry, did you want to continue watching this? You should have said something. Let's push that over there, huh? There you go. What do you want to watch? To be fair, you didn't tell me what you wanted to watch. No buts about it. No buts about it. Oops, there you go. Okay, okay. Let's get back to the focus here. Focus. Don't let that up, girl. I need that for my mic. <laughs> All right, man. So GG put in some pressure. Now bear in mind, right, GG was attacking uh, the farthest out, right? So they obviously had to do the long trek, fighting on kind of TM's front doorstep. Um, again, I thought they did well for what we saw. Uh, and now TM pushing out, now applying a little bit more pressure here on GG. I wonder, so the thing, for, the thing here that... I believe is one of the best approaches that you can really take is the moment that you start feeling like the uh, landscape, right? The momentum is now going in kind of this, I don't want to say negative, but it's going against you. That's really where you want to push back and reef and reset a staging area, right? So if, 
And again, I don't know because I know we were. I know I was kind of going back and forth. No, Hulk, I love you, Hulk. Stay. <laughs> Get better. No, I'm just joking. I love you a lot. Uh, so if we keep if we keep going uh, and we go this way, the the thing for me is I'd love to see Gigi form a staging area here on this side of the bridge, or um, or if they were to do it on this bridge. Oh wait, hang on. No, never mind. Sorry, they're already pushing them beyond. Where where's the next one that I want to look at here? Oh my gosh, this one here, right? So basically you have to think about forming kind of these defensive staging areas where when you're fighting, you don't just want to commit all, because remember, you have, to, you have to understand how far does GG have to run? They have to run, look at this. I mean, they have to track this entire distance here, right? To where they're building and go all the way here. They got to run all the way through here. Look at this line, right? They have to go a pretty far, a pretty far uh, length ways. So the uh, idea here is that the moment that you start feeling like you're losing the fight on this bridge, you disengage, you fall back, I would argue, um, they probably should have, and I think this could have been done better by them. You fall back to this bridge. So you already start telling everyone, hey, we want you to start heading here. This is the new staging area. The challenge is, is if you trickle people in one by one, you're already at a numbers disadvantage because you're always fighting this, this constant like 50 verse 20, 50 verse 25, 60 verse 30, right? Because the units are trickling in one by one, you have to understand the replenishment time that TM has is a lot shorter than what GG has. So this is why you want to fight battles that are in your favor or at least even numbers. And so to me, I, th I thought how <laughs> GG started <laughs> off uh, was really good. The only, the only opportunity I, I would have said for them is to disengage sooner and then have the players that are replenishing from far away to start setting up a staging area here so when you're falling back to a group and then you can potentially either choose, okay, we'll counterattack or if we don't have quite the amount of numbers, then we'll fall back to the next staging area. Those are things that alliances need to start planning out. That's like the next level of quality IQ that I want to see from alliances. That's something I haven't seen yet. Um, where it's being done in that kind of methodical way because that can save a lot of units when you're pushing from that far away, right? You really want your push when you're going that far to be of quality and not just to be of quantity, right? And if you can do both, then man, listen, even better for you. I know, right? Who is that? Oh my gosh, yo, we are breaking records fam do i see 245 viewers right now remember previous was 200 i think we we're at 205 or 206 when we we're watching the nk nw um bxs um owl fight and oh my gosh man you guys are making me blush here uh i gotta catch up on chat Jeez. uh let me scroll down mp my guy welcome to the in for a one five. Oh my gosh man i appreciate the sub thank you so much or i should say the membership because we're on youtube but man oh can we get some hearts in the chat for our boy mp thank you so much man appreciate the love brother hope you guys are enjoying again i don't know i don't know where the people are coming from i'm i'm just as shocked you know again i put out a ping uh spam likes <laughs> i don't know um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I don't, I, I don't really know, uh, how, how that one works or, or how it looks like. Uh, but you know, hopefully everyone's a unique viewer, <laughs> I think is the hope. Uh, let me scroll up a little bit, man. See, 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 if, see if we can catch, man. We're doing, we're doing awesome. I love it. Yeah. Thankfully I already got food in the crock pot. Don't know if anyone here, here is a crock pot fan. Uh, but I am. So, you know, especially when you got three little ladies. Okay, now I'm going to be curious. Is GG going to hold? Are they going to reset? And are we going to see another push from them? I'm really curious. So they're building right now. See, the challenge is that GG13 has the farthest walk. That's the thing to really understand. Is that they have to walk from here all the way down uh, to catch up with 83. Because they don't have access anywhere else i think they should be building right are they not building wow am i where are they right now interesting i wonder why they're not uh maybe they're out of resources or maybe they're just waiting i mean i just i would have imagined they would be building while sending units uh out there okay hey you can eat this just not that eat that part okay thank you can we focus okay don't move my hand okay i'm the boss here Okay, but mm, ah, you're just so cute. Okay, okay. 
people can watch me admonish my baby. I'm going to be honest, she's super chill, by the way. I mean, probably probably our easiest baby thus far was shockingly number three. I mean, I just don't know how we get there. Okay, so they got that built. We got the next one built. Now, I'm wondering, dude, is TM, because TM has good numbers right now. Are they going to try and counter push? GG, I'm really curious here. Oh, wow, did they fall back? No, that was not the play, man. That was not the play. Wow, they did. Oh, okay, look, I'm okay with the play. Um, yeah, stop eating this. Oh, my gosh, we have to buy these things. were expensive. I love these headsets. Um, I don't know about this one. I don't know if I agree with this play. TM had good momentum. I'm going to say that. They had good momentum, and th I would have loved to seen them push over to the Spire. I would have loved to see them push the level 2 Spire and just at least go that far and then see how it looks because this is the thing. You have to look ahead. Let me give you a pro tip here. Right? Why do you keep eating this? Yeah? There you go, baby. Oh, hang on. Here you go. Hang on. I'm going to make an excellent point here. Bam. Would you like another one of these straws? You're welcome. I'm the best I know. Okay. So, what I what the what I'm going to say here is that when you are looking to push and you're trying to identify, let me give you a pro tip. In TM's case, right? Let's take it back here. They win, so they push off the spire. They win the bridge. They're pushing off the bridge, and then from the bridge. They are fighting here in the open field. They decide at some point, maybe halfway or almost halfway through, that now they're not going to fight or they're going to withdraw. The approach here is you need to have someone who's looking farther ahead. Don't just sit here and be complacent. You need to have someone who's scouting, meaning they're looking farther out. And you can clearly see that you have way more troops out in the field than what GG has right now. So respectfully, that's a missed opportunity from TM. I would have loved to see them push to the bridge. And then if you feel like you have more people than they do, then you push past the bridge, right? Why not challenge them at their flag? So again, I think that was a little bit of complacency there. I think TM actually had an opportunity to do a little pushing because they had the numbers in that moment, right? And, and that's where you kind of have to be able to look like this is like where we kind of talk about the chess play right don't you know we're playing chess not checkers again think you have to think multiple moves ahead but have someone who can make those calls out in the field because again this would have been a great opportunity for them to push i would have loved to seen that happen here you go you want another one there you go i'm a lover not a fighter ah uh, okay so I don't know what's going to happen now. We might need to go see if we can find some more PvP somewhere else. Because, oh man, that was exciting. That was riveting. I want to say that was riveting. <laughs> Remember my name, no 54. <laughs> Caster 106, dang. 94 will be hot in two days. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's see real quick if we can find some more PvP. So that was 2005 or 6. Oh, let's see if Doran TPD is still popping off. Right, remember, they were supposed to be fighting... Oh, interesting, what's happening now? So there's no more ramp fighting. I thought they were fighting on the ramp. Let's see real quick. Okay, I don't see any units that are pushing beyond. Let's see here. Because remember, TPD was fighting... Oh, wow, they should still be building north though, right? Why are they building that way? That's so weird. Let's see. Are they doing anything over here on this advance ramp that they pushed to? Wow. So it looks like they fully pushed back. Remember, there was a big fight that was happening over here. Huh. Wild. So are they pushing down here maybe? So this is RR. There should have been a flag here. Oh, wow. Did that get deleted? Okay. I guess nothing's happening then. Interesting. And I don't see any lines, because that's the other thing to always look for too as well. Are there lines that you're seeing on the map where like are units running past the flag? Because if they are, sometimes you can pay attention to that and you can see if you follow the lines far enough, okay, well maybe they're just fighting out in the open field and it just hasn't registered yet. But nothing's happening. So, let's move on. Uh, okay, so is, uh, is is maybe there's something going on with the BXS group now again. 
Is there some more PvP? Ooh, what is going on here? Dude, it could be going off shortly. They are getting close. Oh, this is not bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want some water? I got you, sweetie. Boom. Because I'm there for you. All right, all right, boys and girls. We're gender neutral. This... Okay, it it could be going it could be going down. Let's see. What you said? I need to look at owl. Where's owl? Well, I I don't know where owl is. Hold up. Where's owl? I just see a few people here from owl. Looks like they're just holding them there. Am I missing it? Uh, looking owl. Oh oh oh! At your towers. Where's owl towers? You guys are pretty far, though. Oh, you mean here? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Nice. I got you, I got you. So, Owl's building. But RTG capped this, so where... Dude. Sorry, I gotta put some towels here because my daughter be spilling. I wonder how you guys are gonna build, though. Because you're going to have to go... Uh, I guess you could go this way. No, because that only goes to the pass. You need to be able to get through, which... Yeah, they're going to have to... Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. Oh, you're fighting this? Oh, I'm tripping. Okay, so I'll... Oh, you are fighting RTG. Is that right? You guys are fighting RTG squiggly? Am I tripping on this? I guess so. That's not what I had in my notes, though. Seven. Oh no, I do have this. RTG versus Owl Zone One. Never mind, I did. Okay. But I didn't have I didn't have what you guys would be doing. Okay, I guess I do. Yeah, because it was Owl BXS RTG NK feed. Okay, no, I guess this is right. Oh, interesting. That means so that means you guys are going up against RTG Squiggly and Hyphen. If that's the case, this is actually even more interesting to me. But I don't understand though because. There was one RTG that we saw fighting with BXS against NKNW. So does that mean RTG hyphen is fighting? But RTG squiggly, you guys are fighting a. Oh, they're out the way for a response. This is I'm, I'm slightly getting mind blown here. Um. Oh my bad. You're not fighting against them. You're just getting the spire down so then you can build a flag. Okay, I guess that makes sense because now they're building a flag over here on the side. So they're probably going to delete for you. Is that is that more or less accurate? I think that's probably what you're trying to say. Um, so I, I had to like put two and two together on where we were going with that. <laughs> Yo, this, I mean, this could be nuts though. Look at this, dude. We got BXS building this flag about to touch. 46 minutes on that bad boy. And then we got 49 minutes here on the RTG flag. I only see hyphen there. I don't see any RTG squiggly. But, dude, I wonder, man, I'm, I'm hoping NK and NW is going to be able to pull some... Because this is the challenge, man, with NW is kind of blocked. It's really just NK at the moment. <laughs> Yo, let's chat that, boys. I need, to, I need to get out of this... Oh, sorry, guys. I need to get out of this... Oh, never mind. I am in world chat for our group. <laughs> That's so funny. Man, I know. I, I still got to I still gotta catch up, too. On uh, I still got to catch up on uh, some chats here. Too. But yeah, man, welcome, welcome. Yeah, friendly reminder too as well, because I know it looks like it's going to be popping off here. And again, I know we're getting some more viewers that are coming on, so welcome. Uh, I'm just I'm going to throw I'm going to throw a Discord link again in the chat and uh, just let people know because I know we're peeking. Uh, again, if you guys want to get notified when we go live, um, you can just join the Discord. Go here to reaction roles, select the camera, which is the COD Live notify, and then again, right for those of you that are interested in. Subbing or donating right beyond just viewing, right? There's a tab right there. Otherwise, there's stuff here on the on the YouTube channel as well. But again, if you just want to get a heads up on when we go live uh, or when new content is coming out, right? That's where you can go. All right, man. We're going to see, man. Th I mean, it, there's a lot. There's a lot here right now. And I'm really wondering what my daughter is doing over here. There's just like so much. Are you... How full are you right now? Because I'm just drinking nothing but my water. Do you feel good about life? I'll put that there. 
Yeah, man. <clears throat> Chubby, what's up? Wow, 200 plus viewers, man. I can only get max 150 on Twitch. I'm going to be honest. I don't know where they're coming from. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's people from my Discord, if it's other places. I mean, I mean, we're just now breaking another record. Uh, what, whatever this is at, 259 right now. My my last peak, I think, was last week on a Tuesday or two weeks ago on a Tuesday where we hit 200. Or maybe it was a while farther back. That was when one of the zones were opening. So, I mean, look, dude, the fact that we're at 259 right now, which is the new peak, I mean, it's dope, man. I appreciate the love. Um, I hope you guys enjoy watching the PvP. Uh, and it's nice, man, to see a lot of people coming to check out COD. You know, really just being able, whether it's wars, if it's, you know, looking at what's happening in multiple other kingdoms, you know, for, for those that watch when I go live, that's one of the things I really like to show off, you know, is being able to show you guys the, the world as a whole and, you know, not just one kingdom or the most popular KVK group, but being able to show you a lot of different ones. I think that's really important for players to get a better overall understanding of what is out there, right? You know, we got to be like Columbus and just, or sorry, not, I shouldn't use the Columbus uh, discovery example, but basically just be an adventurer, right? Enjoy watching and being a part of the COD community and, you know, seeing what other alliances and other players. And I think the cool thing about going out and watching a lot of other PvP, um, yeah, right. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want some more agua? Uh, MP, what's up? He says, well, because you usually stream late for Europe. You know what? That's probably a really good point. <laughs> I'm not going to deny that. It is probably a good point. You're right, because usually when I'm streaming, or when I get a chance to stream, it's usually around 5. But bear in mind, we did hit 200 once that late. Or, you know, I don't know if it was that late. It actually might have been an earlier stream. I think you're right. But yeah, I guess that makes a lot of sense. Because right now, it's like early evening for, for COD, right? Or, I'm sorry, uh, early evening for EU. Uh, compared to what I'm usually streaming, which is like late evening, if not midnight, 1 a.m., uh, which is essentially kind of when I get off work, unless it's a weekend. So you're right. <laughs> Siketu, what's up? Uh, like the info you're giving to us COD players. Keep it up. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Uh, I will tell you, if if uh, I do, um, you know, don't get me wrong, I love, I love providing commentary. I love doing analysis. Um you know, I have a pretty diverse strategy background for just games I've played, but also watching, I think, you know, uh, and probably more so understanding. You know, I think it's, you know, any, don't get me wrong, anyone can watch. Uh, but for me, you know, I, I very much like to look at, like, I mean, I used to watch Pro StarCraft 2 matches on the GSL and whatever it was, the ESL or whichever, whatever the two pro leagues are over there in South Korea and Seoul, or in Seoul. Um, you know, watching, like, the MLG events for StarCraft 2, watching Warcraft Pro Play, Age of, Age of Empires Pro Play. Um, you know, like, I love that stuff. Um, Command and Conquer back in the day, right, when it was being played, like, talking, like, Red Alert 2, right, for those of you, depending on how old you are. Um, you know, I think I think you can learn a lot when you watch when you watch different games. Um, and you can draw a lot more comparisons. You can add more context here and there. I think all of those things are really important. Um, you know, and hopefully people enjoy that. Also, my, my brand of streaming is probably a little bit different than maybe others. And part of that is just because of the current power level size of my account, <laughs> respectfully. But being able to show you guys this this wonderful world that is Call of Dragons, um, you know, for me is uh, is a pleasure. You know, um, most of the time when I do sign offs in my Discord for announcements, I usually say, you know, um, from your steward, if you will, uh, because for me, I, I I think far too often it's too easy to get tunnel visioned right in the kingdom that you're in. And most of the time, especially if your kingdom isn't really kind of kingdom-wide focused, where it's multiple alliances working together, sometimes you'll get this idea of, oh, it's just me and my alliance, or it's just me as a player. And most of the time, you may only be susceptible, you may only be aware of what's happening in your alliance, and then probably less than that, your kingdom, and then even farther less than that, what's happening in other kingdoms externally outside of yours. So for me to be able to show that off and go into multiple KVK groups in different seasons talk about what alliances, what players are doing, even with the stat series that I do as well. I mean, I love that stuff, you know, and uh, commentary and, you know, providing kind of analysis as well. Absolutely love doing that. So I appreciate, you know, I, I hope and, and I'm glad that people enjoy it. You know, it's always nice, to, it's always nice when you can do something that's different uh, than, than what others are doing, right? And hopefully people enjoy um, those, those unique uh, approaches, right, that some of us creators have going in dude but this is i mean this is pretty nuts right now man so bxs finally putting some pressure here again them and rtg with the flag still being built good activity 
NK, though, and that's the hard part here, is, dude, NK, for the most part... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I said this earlier, and I, I keep forgetting about this. NW can still come. They just have to come here. They have to come south, um, up here to assist uh, NK. I kept forgetting that, where I was saying that they had to go over there where the others were blocking. I was like, oh, no, there's this path that they can still get there from. Yeah, man, I mean... This is a bet. I wonder if NK is going to throw another behemoth down here in a bit. Maybe, maybe putting some pressure on one of the flag builds. This actually wouldn't be a bad, a bad uh, time to use another behemoth because I think they used one already, which was either the bear or the giant. So, you know, I think being able, I think being able to do. I, 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 can you stop biting this, please? Thank you. I'm going to put this over here, and I'm going to give you another veggie straw. You're welcome. I'm amazing. I know. Hear that crunch. There we go. Now, if I'm NKNW, right, the thing I'm gonna the thing I'm gonna mention here is that the one thing I think they can do, even though they obviously have less players uh, and less overall activity than who they're fighting against, I think really just playing the poke game, playing the poke game, maybe potentially attacking from a corner or from a different angle. Right, I think that's really where they need to focus on is just poking down those, right? Not really doing full engagements, but basically whittling their opponents down, right? Unless they get enough good activity, I think the best play for them is to really do that, right? So an example here, let me see real quick, what do we have? Let's do it like this, right? So we can see a little bit more of the field. So an example for what I'd like to see them do would almost be to like form your line and then potentially hit from here, right? Focus on that. Spread the line even here. Hit that, right? Go after some of these outlier numbers, right? And then some of these frontline units here, right? The ones that are overextending. I think that's really where they're going to create some opportunities. Because again, if they poke enough and they can whittle down enough, then they can start creating some favorable trades, right? But I think more importantly, moving as a unit, so that way, if they're getting pushed, they're moving back, right? If they're pushing and momentum's going, or if their opponents are falling back, then you're moving up a little bit, right? Again, kind of swaying appropriately with how the momentum of the fight is happening. But again, that takes a lot of coordination, right? Whether that's you and voice, it's easier to do that. Right, compared to, and this is the thing, like with with these units, notice how just kind of going in one by one, right, or, or at least for this instance here, right, where one of the NK guys goes in, like that's something there I probably wouldn't have overextended that much, right? Make sure you're kind of forming your lines here and then hitting, right? Do your poke. I mean, again, you have outliers here, right, with a couple of recov troops, Maddies. This is a good opportunity to attack some, uh, any other units, right? Even some of these over here from BDR, right? But again, you know, it just it, it would require, like I said, everyone in voice or you providing instructions ahead of time to where you're, for example, sending mails out and you're saying, hey, look, this is how we're going to set up. I think being able to have specific emojis or uh, text uh, animations, right? Like these ones where it says shadow games, right? For when you're using your artifact skills and it lists it out, but you actually have the ones that you can use when you're out in the field. I think setting up those. Right, and having some type of like fast cav unit or a fast flyer unit that's kind of issuing orders, right? Like those are things you can do. Remember, you don't always have to rely on voice. You can also give out instructions ahead of time and let people know this is what we're gonna do when we get into these types of situations. Those are the things that I think are, I don't know if I wanna say lacking, but I think that's where some of the opportunity is right now for where we can eventually see the quality of PVP raising, right? That standard, right? That kind of rising tide that's lifting all the boats. But that, to me, is something I think NK and NW have an opportunity to do here. To me, I would like to see them try that type of strategy first, unless, like I said, they can get enough activity on to where they can challenge BXS and RTG like they did earlier when the fight started. Right? That would have been nice to see as well. Uh, i got to catch up on chat, because I think I'm really far behind. <laughs> so, let me, let me see if I could speed run through chat here. Let's see how fast we can do this. Oi. Over the baby's head. That's my style. <laughs> uh, Ryan says... Ooh, hang on, where... Range? Okay, damn. Damn, girl, I didn't know you felt that way. Um, like to rain, rush, and rock. Uh, let me see here. Ranges at park. Where am I going? GG. So, cool. Cod fighting is so much... 
Yeah. Uh, Jorge Morales says, honestly, if you're watching these guys PvP and you don't believe that there's skill involved, you're beyond self. Oh, yeah, we read that earlier. Um... Uh, let me see, aim assist, oh sorry, Jorge said 100% agree, boss, these fights are great intro to anyone who wants to gasp how vast the PvP is in this game. No, you're absolutely right. Um, that was when we were watching the GG group going up against TM earlier for that. And I, I, I do, I think that if you're going to market, I think if you're going to market COD to the Kingdom Builder audience, you need to be able to show that off. It can't just be, uh, it can't just be, uh, you know, like watching an all infantry or an all cap fight. Not to say that that's bad. But that if you want to if you want to really sell COD, you have to show off what how the ta how the tactics and the strategy in the open field differ from other games, and that I think is something that if the developers hopefully do something like that, I think that would be a way better selling point than, for example, you know, using the ads respectfully, the ads that I, I don't really agree with, uh, or I, I don't really favor, I should say, because I think some of us have seen some of the ads for COD. And some of them are a little inflated is probably a, a very kind way of saying it. Uh, and just not entirely accurate for what you're seeing in-game. But why not use more favorable clips to really sell the game on how it differs and how awesome it is that it differs, right? To me, I think that's the big one um, that I'd really love to see more of. Uh, X2 Amosis, what's up? Welcome. Uh, yo, boss, I'm from 119. We set two more world record runs on the Frostbite Necro. Okay, I think someone sent me those. Um, I need to look at those when I get a minute. But yeah, I think someone sent those to me on Discord. Again, you guys can always hit me up on Discord too as well, right? If there's PvP going on, I know I usually say this, but um, you guys are always more than welcome to, right? Anyone and everyone can always let me know when there's PvP going on. Um, if, you know, uh, if there's ever world records that are broken for uh, Behemoths, I'm eventually going to do another update video on that as well. Uh, you guys are more than welcome. Can always hit me up. Always hit me up. <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, if you play Elite Hydra with a group of 40 players about a dozen times, you just don't need to entertain an, uh, an argument that there is no skill involved. Yeah. No, I think I think, and, and I think there's differences. That, I think there's other things you can even expand on with the Hydras. I think you can do objective-based uh, raids too as well that might have two or three parts connected to them where it's not just kind of a straight-up fight. I think there's a lot of things they could do. Uh, with those. They can expand on it beyond just it being a Hydra or a Behemoth raid. Uh, on the PvE side, at least. Right? Why not make it a little bit more kind of MMO, World of Warcraft? Why not kind of take things that that game does, or other successful games do, within those genres and implement some of those similarities into COD? Th that can absolutely be done. And that's why I say I, th I still feel there's a lot of quality opportunity in the game. Uh, wait for the Fed patch and your mind will be blown. MP, do you know things that we don't know, MP? You better not be holding out on your boy. What what are you saying right now? You know things in the Feb patch when the February patch is coming out? You have to DM me, dude. Slide into my DMs. I don't bite hard. Really, it's more hugs, if anything. It's just like it's really, really quality hugs. Yeah, I know, right? Ooh, ooh, don't be eating that. Oh my god, I didn't even remember eating that. Jeez. Oh my god, it's good. Here you go. Boom. There you go. Like that. The daughter's over here eating, eating the cram. Jeez. Yeah. What is it? Let me see. Right here? Did you put an ice pack? Okay. Okay. Here, put it on a little bit more, and then we're going to take a... I'll give you another bath tonight. Yeah. Gotta use some Epsom salt on this little one. <laughs> oh, here, sorry, did you want this? Oh, it did? Okay, you wanna go down? Oh, sorry, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Okay, I'll put that right there. We'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah? Uh, man, good stuff. Yeah. What's wrong? Oh, she's trying to go up there. My daughter. Oh, nice. Look at that. Back to 45 or 46. See, now I'm kind of wondering. Um, part of me is now kind of wondering if maybe it's... I don't know. I don't, I, I don't want to say, like, fake viewers, but... And again, I, I, I've never... I don't know how, like, the raids typically work, or if... You know, people can like bot inflate or fake account inflate your viewers, but 
the fact that we went all the way up there for a short period of time and now all the way back down to 45, 46, I don't know. I don't want to say I'm skeptical. You know, always nice to see high numbers. Uh, but I, I guess maybe that I guess maybe that can happen anytime there's like big fights that are happening, and maybe the numbers increase. So who knows? Maybe I'm just full of it, or I'm uh, not full of it. Maybe just the numbers are lying to me. Uh, oh gosh! Anytime I hear something hard, I gotta look back. But hey, look! You know, if the uh, if the numbers are real, even even that much better. <laughs> Man, they are they are going at it though. Uh, let me see. I gotta scroll up though. Okay, don't be eating that. Get my daughter. Scares me. Scares me. Try to people listen. Uh, Makura, I agree. God is great. Yeah, exactly. Makura, low. Just the fact that this game is so PvE to WoW is a huge achievement in itself. Challenging fights are always a plus. Yeah. Trying to get people to listen to simple raid mechanics in a mobile game is the hardest thing in this game. <laughs> yeah, probably. No, I'm, uh, I'm with you there. Be careful. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe that, maybe MPs, maybe that's what you meant. Uh, you said spam likes fam. What did you what did you mean by that? Maybe that's what you meant when I was talking about how like maybe it was really kind of mid forties or high forties on the viewers, and then we just saw like the spike increase. Like, like I said, I don't really know how that stuff works. So, um, you know, if there's like I don't know, I don't even know how that how how that how that would well. Like I said, I don't know the technical applications for that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay, be careful. Don't stab yourself with a pencil. <laughs> Friend, MP server. Let me see here. And if we'll be hot, statues. Yeah. MMG, what's up? Welcome. I'm looking for Arthur Stone. Yeah. I guess that's a, I guess that's a really good point I should probably consider thinking about is that if we really had Ah, uh, oh I see. I see. So oh, okay. So you said, let me see, sorry. Like the info you're Oh sorry, Chevy. Should I also try playing rock cuz I usually get questions about rock on my cod streams. I don't know. I'm not I'm not really I would let me say this. Play what you want to play. Yeah, I see you. Can we not eat the paper? Is that an idea? Yeah? Yeah? I don't know. I think my, I think my, my kid just looks at me like I'm crank crank. Oh my gosh, how long have I been streaming for right now? Two and a half hours. Oh my gosh, wow. Uh, we like walking 10 to 12 minutes to fight so bad we need some days to get closer. Jonathan Huang, what's up, man? Welcome. Could, uh, could get more interesting in a couple hours. It's 5 a.m. in China right now, so more NK should wake up soon. Oh, cool. Okay, so maybe this evening. Maybe we'll come back. Um, Dumeru, what's up? Welcome. MP, lol. You said it's an algorithm with more likes when people type COD in the search or stream shows up first. Oh, interesting. Okay. So maybe so maybe they were real viewers and we were just kind of getting temporarily boosted um, for a few moments when people were typing COD in because of maybe all the war that was going on. Maybe just increased or elevated the search results, which therefore pushed some uh, people temporarily to come and watch. Okay. Well, listen, if that's the case, I'm going to be honest. You make me feel better. I'm feeling a little more, more warm and tingly inside. <laughs> Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Can we not eat the eraser? Can we not eat that? That'd be nice. Can we, can we take that out? Can we take that out? Yeah, I see you. I see you. I see you. Can we put that over there? I know, I know. Oh my gosh, I know, Fanny. Oh my daughter. Okay, okay. She comes right back. There's no peace. There's no peace. <laughs> it's okay. We are. We are. We already had some. Uh, 
We had some good times. Okay, don't fall on the on the donkey. All right, let's go see if there's anything else happening, and then we'll see where we we'll see where we end up. So bad. Ooh, cool. Is there something happening here in S1? And I guess that's the thing, right? As more time goes on, there's a chance that we'll see more uh, PvP as well. Ooh, are they fighting? Are they fighting it out? No. Okay. They're fighting the turret. Or is this bad versus DM? Oh, maybe it is. Oh, interesting. Okay, all right, getting a little action here. I guess slight action, really, in reality? Hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay, be careful, Isa. Be careful. You don't want to fall. Yeah, you remember what happened last time? She doesn't remember what happened last time. Last time it was bad. Well, not too bad. Yeah, come down. There you go. Oops. Put the chair farther away. There you go. Now you're winning. Okay, don't think anything really is popping off here. Um, mm, I'm skeptical on that one. BXS, Noxa. Ah, that's zone one, though. We want zone three. Ooh, okay. Is there some DK and CS in with stuff going on here? Let's look. Gosh, my daughter is eating. Ooh. 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 What's happening here? What is happening here? So, ANCS. Going on flag. Oh, hang on. Are they? T it's DK, ANCS. What do I have here for SS2 9? Zone 3, we have ANCS versus FGH7. So I don't know where DK stands. Where's FGH7? There's Inwa up there. FGH7's over here. Okay. Okay. So are they. Okay. So maybe here. Okay, so here's where some of the fighting could be. And I guess they're just continuing to build over here while they can. Okay, I guess they're just going for the... Sp no, 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 no. But it looks like they're, they're attacking people over here, though. Oh, okay. So it looks like ANCS versus Inwa, DK, and FGH7? Oh, I need to update this then. Okay, cool. So let's update this. Um, Inwa, and we'll go hashtag DK hashtag. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, man. My, da my daughter just figured out how to take the uh, <laughs> take the things out of the bag. I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh man, this is so this is so cute, so adorable. Dude, dope. Nice. We're getting some action that's happening right now. Oh man, I love it. <laughs> Dude, wow, A ANCS is pushing that. So they're fighting this on that side against those two. And then they're also fighting here on the west. No one else has built in yet. Club is there, so they'll probably build in, in a bit. So they're fighting that out while not doing anything over here. I wonder what's going on then. Jeez, man, they're, they're pushing that hard right now. Hey. Don't just take them out. Eat them. Okay? So eat those. And then you can get some more. Okay? (sighs) 
she, fig she figures out how to take some out, and then she's like, oh, I'll just take out everything. Okay, there you go. Let's go after my wallet. <laughs> uh, MMG, you said you still got 21 minutes till the towers are done. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm imagining that's for the NKNW BXS uh, fight. Oh, man, dude. DK and Inwood getting pushed right now. Look at this wild open field. What you doing? Oh. Yeah, she took my money. Story of my life. Yeah. Too bad I can't block the chair. Part of me feels like that'd be great for my life. <laughs> One can hope. Wait. <laughs> Dude, they are going in right now. Like in, 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 in. All right. Basically, what my plan is in the future is if I can just get uh, like a, a thing, that's, that's what I need to buy, right? That's a great investment. I need to buy like a little, of a, a, a gate. <sighs> Okay, good. I don't think she can reach. She might get upset, but really it's a win in the long term. <laughs> Dude, ANCS is pushing in, uh, INWA and DK back decently right now. Right? They were here. They're still going after this. And now they're pushing deep in territory. This is not bad. Oh, come on. Can I, can I get the perfect zoom here? Yes. Good. Yeah, it's going on. So it's really, that's nice. Come here. Come here. I know. I, I don't want you to push that out. That's why we're doing that. Well, maybe she'll get it. Dude, ANCS is... Wow, dude, they're going deep. They're just... They just don't care. They're going all the way in right now. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Let me see. Come here. Where's your chip on, huh? Yeah. All right. I know we're going to have to... Is, is, that, is it getting about your time? Is that getting to about your time right now? Hmm? 
I think so. I think it is. Oh my gosh, you're going to push them back to the spire. Wild. Let me see. Let's get your hair. And then let's get your nose. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah, a little better. All right. Are you happy that you get to have a little stick? Is the stick the thing that was selling you on life enjoyment? I think so. Okay, here. How about you want to watch? You want to watch some Sea Beast? Can I adjust the brightness for this? Okay. All right. Let's scoot the mic over. So NCS pushes, is this both of them? Whose tower is this? Oh, so this is DK's. Where's Inwa? Are they up here? So they're up here. They're building that, but they, oh, I see, because they could also send around. Wow, dude, that's wild. So ANCS pushes them all the way to their level three spire. And see, this is, I want to play, this is a good play here. Like, let me, let me really be clear on this one. This is a great play from, uh, from ANCS, right? They recognize, hey, we pushed them. You got some kills. This is exactly, oh my gosh. This is exactly what GG should have done in their case. This is textbook quality heads up maneuvering here from Ancients, right? They push them to their spire. They're just picking the stragglers off one by one. And then the moment that they start feeling a little pressured, they disengage and fall back, right? And again, regroup. Wait till you get more people coming in. As you're falling back, they're coming up and they're replenishing you. And then you counterattack. I think this was a little too early. I, don't, I wouldn't have done it here. Um, I think the better play would have been to wait a little bit. Go back more and then re-engage just so you already have higher numbers, which means you're going to be taking less overall losses. But still, this isn't bad. Yeah, like this isn't bad. It's just, again, I would have liked for them to go back a little bit more. But now you see them kind of being on the ropes again. That's the thing, though. Push with numbers. Like, you don't want there to be too much gaps. Like, you see the gap here between, like, Senpai, Rai, and Escanor as an example. You want that to be closer when you're pushing. So, again, it's not bad, but just could be better. Yeah. I guess there's something about these little wooden sticks. <laughs> yeah. See if you can push back now a little bit. Okay, maybe a bit. Run, Blue Baron, run! <laughs> I get off work. Go, Blue Baron, you can do it. <laughs> Yes. You put the veggie shows right there? I did. So Isa could eat? We did, yeah. So Isa has a little bit easier time. Well, what are these doing here? What did you do with these sticks? Mommy! Yeah, I know. I know. She's been playing with them a little bit. <coughs> she hey, sweetie. How you doing? Ooh, is this, is this where they're going to try and hold? Can I see? Can I see? 
Oh, we see. Look, you got this forward group, and you have another group that's leaving. Oh man, hopefully they don't get flanked up here from the north. Yeah, here, pick that up. Right, careful, careful. No? Uh, you said we moved six minutes more, okay. Yeah, can you pick up the sticks, please? Yeah. Sweetie? Okay. Dad? Uh, Jalil, Jalil, what's up? Check SS27 ASAP. Man, this is good stuff here. You said BXS and Al RTG getting ready for a push. Okay. Let me know just before it happens. And then we'll go. Because, again... Like I said, I, I, the only way I would go off is if there's like a bigger fight or something. You know, I obviously want to try and give uh, this group some love. So, if it, again, right when the fight starts, let me know. Uh, or right before they start moving and then we'll switch. Hello, Cookie. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, but again, I mean, I, I know they have a lot more players. So, uh, like I said, if, right before it starts, just let me know and we'll, we'll go take a look. Set the course for three bridges. Hi. How's it going? Love you lots. Oh, sorry, Max. Yeah, be careful. Watch out for Max. I didn't see him. Yeah, dude, they're still getting replenishment, though, even on their territory. This is pretty nuts. Gotcha, you, gotcha. You. Alright, we'll wait. We will wait just until then. <laughs> it's enough to make your knees wobble. And you, you have the day you get the red blaster. The red bluster. Oh my gosh. Too much love for you. Too much love. Everyone's loving. <laughs> loving. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. You're welcome, daddy. Oh, let's see. Yeah, too much love for tomorrow. Yeah, it's too much. It's too much love right now. It's intoxicating. When are we going to leave? To, um, when are we going to see the strength? Uh, we'll leave around uh, uh, 9.30. 30, okay. Yeah. For Friday? Uh, yes, for tomorrow we're going to go see the movie. I like veggie straws because if they're called vegetables, well, I don't like vegetables mm -hmm. anyway because they are ready. Yeah, they're veggie straws. Mm -hmm. yeah. But technically, you're, you're eating vegetables because there's vegetables in those straws. So. Oh, wait, here, wait, wait, here. Give one to Issa. Give one to Issa. Give one to Issa. Here, Issa, you want one? Without dropping. See if she wants one. Do you want one? Okay, go ahead. You can have one. You just have to ask. Wait, is this broccoli? No, oh, I don't know. I don't know what's in that one. Go ahead, sweetie. If they're green, that means it's broccoli. It could be. Yeah. This one. I pick it out. Oh, they're still pushing. Oh, wow. Now they're pushing them back again. Wow. Oh, this is um broccoli. This uh -huh. is carrots. Okay. Um, I do that. I see. Be careful when, though. When I do that, I. This is corn. It's corn. Corn. I guess it could carrots, be. Carrots. Carrots. Green. And then broccoli. Yeah. Also, see, so you do like vegetables. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. If they're veggie straws, then I like okay. vegetables, but I got you. actually not. Uh, yeah. Look at this guys. Rock is better too. Just the lies. No, I'm joking. Again, you like what you like. <laughs> That's a good. I didn't notice that. Though until right now, we see you. <laughs> That's funny. 
Ooh, what's going on down here? Oh, there's just one DK player. Dude, how much do they have left? Okay, they're getting close. Give her another one. Give her another one. Oh no, hang on. She still has this one. Let her finish. Let her finish. You wanna go down? Hang on. You wanna go down? Wait. You got it? Oh, Mia. Go door. Mia. Go get her out of the door. Yep, hang on, yeah, get her out, get her out, though, go. Uh, yeah, yeah, Mia, yeah, no, no, let Mia pick her up and then you can close the door. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just hold that, let her pick her up, and then come out and close the door, Evelyn. Watch out for Max. Okay, right there, right there, right there. Close, uh, Evelyn, out, 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 Evelyn. Close the door, now. Now. That one, too, let's go. Okay, move, uh, move the handle. Thank you. All right. No, just leave her right there. That's fine. That's okay. No, no, not all the way there because the wheels are on the folder. Evelyn, look down there. The, okay, okay, that's okay. Oh, Lord. My kiddos. Mm -hmm. Go play it on there. Okay. Uh-uh. Close it. Don't don't let her do that, and don't let her don't hit her fingers. All right. Let's see. How we doing? That's okay. Girls are about to come out. All right, all. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start slowly closing out here. Um, again, you know, don't wanna. Neglect the kiddos for too long. Uh, obviously, want to give a huge shout out real quick as always, right, to everyone who has been hanging out with us. And as always, good friendly reminders for those of you that would like to get updates on when we end up going live. I'll post one more Discord link here into the chat. And... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll post this over here. Again, friendly reminder, right? If you join, you can just select the live or you can also do the COD YouTube notify. And of course, there's a sub donate screen for anyone who would like to do so beyond just the regular viewership. But as always, I appreciate everyone who comes in for those that take the time to watch, hang out with us, listening. I think average view duration today was absolutely fantastic. We were at uh, over 13 minutes. So I think that's the best we've done so far, uh, which is awesome. I'm, I'm glad people like to... Hear this older gentleman talk, if you will. Well, I guess relatively older gentleman. But uh, with that in mind, right? I think I'm still pretty young and spry uh, for, the, for the three little ones that I have. But with that in mind, uh, yeah, I know it's, it's right before the BXS and NK situation is going to be going down. Um, again, I just got to go and hang out, hang out with the little ones. Um, always going to be the most important, right? Family's all, usually number one and, and IRL, as they say. But again, I love being able to make time and, you know, when I can. So hopefully, if I'm not back again this evening, chance I'll be back tomorrow um, around, give or take, the time that we started today, right? Hopefully, I'll be able to go for about this length without 
uh, the potential interruptions, if you will, um, just from hanging out with the little ones. Because uh, again, whenever the baby's sleeping, that's my opportunity to shine. So that's when you know dad mode gets to just break out of the of the shell, roar, and yeah, that was a little cliche, but you guys get what I mean. <laughs> uh, with that in mind, though, man, as always, thank you guys so much. Down. And again, hope you guys have a great rest of the day, uh, upcoming weekend. Happy holidays as well to everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed. Uh, happy we, we saw some new crazy peaks today, whatever that may be. I'm going to have to look at the analytics afterwards and maybe see if I could find out where some people were coming from. But it uh, was just an absolute blast. Uh, again, man, so humbling uh, to have that many people hanging out in here for that long. Uh, and again, hopefully you enjoyed the show. Uh, again, we'll try and be back again tomorrow. That's going to do it for me. As always, until next time, I will catch you all 